What's that now? Don't like the cold? Can't stay in today. We have a ritual to perform, you and I. your name, girl. But will the goddess speak it back? <laughs> Normally it would be the mother who declares, if you had one. The whole village would attend and matriarchs perform the ritual, but we are outcasts. Even so, we keep the tribe's rituals. Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. But their wickedness doomed them. To us, were left the splendors of creation, beasts of air, water, earth, and steel. It is one thing to hunt a beast, another to hunt a machine. You must be humble and respect their power. I will teach you this. One day. No, 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 off your knees. It's nearly time. And yes, you may speak to me. You came to bless the naming. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted her to you. But we are outcasts. You by choice. And she, well... I am a high matriarch, Rost. I bless whom I choose. Then you honor us. Yes, yes, now go and be ready to declare. Go! Oh, mother, this child needs a name by which to know her. That your love may warm her life as the rising sun warms all the earth. Speak her name! Aloy! And so her name is blessed. Stop this at once! What have you done? I've blessed the naming of a child. Stubborn woman, you call that curse a child? What did she tell you about his birth outcast? Answer! I've done only what you asked. To raise it, yes. We said nothing of love. Enough! And you, blessing its name like it was one I of the I know my duty to them. Tribe. And to you. Without consultation. I'm here. And wherever you go, I will follow.
That's a lot of berries. You're quite the gatherer, aren't you, little bast? Now go and see if you can find some more, hmm? Well done, that's a good boy. Children, come with me. She's an outcast to be shunned. There. Oh, come on. There. Looks tight, but I can get through. This must be a ruin of the metal world. One of the old places. Ross said you never go in places like this. But I have to find a way out. shiny there. Metal door. Closed. 
Maybe this device I found can help. A shape. It's connected to the door somehow. More lights. Changed color. The door changed color too. Seriously, Rick 
record our thoughts for posterity. Great idea, Director. Why did they die here? It's like I haven't done enough for what posterity already. It's like I wouldn't be here like this if not for posterity. I'm done with posterity. Posterity can go. Machu Picchu. Always wanted to see that. I never did. Why didn't I go with Owen when he asked? <laughs> Stupid. Take my hand. You don't belong down there. Come! <clears throat> Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. What is that on your face? Nothing. Did you find it down there? No. Give it to me. Aloy, such things are dangerous. No! <sighs> well, if you're gonna go sneaking away from home, you'll need to know how to survive in the wild. Come, Aloy. Home now. But starting tomorrow, you will learn to hunt. to that plaything. We descend to the valley now. Follow. The wilds can be dangerous, Aloy. You will need to stay close and do as I say. I know. Now. You're still scratched up from that fall you took yesterday. So let's start there. Take this medicine pouch. I'll show you how to fill it. 
See this plant over here? It's called salve brush. Come, gather its berries in your pouch. Good. Now eat the berries. Yeah. They may taste bitter, but they can save your life. Always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries, flowers, and plants. Where are we? This valley is just a part of all Mother's embrace. Embrace? The Nor tribe watches these lands and keeps out the most dangerous machines, usually. Further down river, we'll find a herd of machines, and I will teach you how to hunt. Are they dangerous? All machines are dangerous, Aloy. Their power must be respected. But I will be beside you. That's the last of them. Let's move on. You did well. They didn't see or hear you. Now stay close. That herd should be just ahead. of the tribe. Maybe he doesn't like the tribe. Then he is a fool. Come now. Let's find that herd. Follow. There. See them? These are called striders. Ha! Get! Why'd you chase them off? <sighs> to show you how some machines startle easily if they detect you and run away. They're best approached by stealth. Don't worry. We'll catch up with them further down the valley. You'll see.
Now, I want you to find some rocks that fit the cup of your hand. Why? Do as I say, Aloy, and gather the rocks. I will show you how to use them. Good. That's it. Those will do. Follow. Machines, right? No, but they can distract them, draw them into traps. Like that watcher over there. It must be dealt with, or it will warn the herd and send them running before we get in range. Warn them? How? The machines speak to each other, Aloy. Unless they are first silenced. Now you stay here on the ridge. On my signal, throw rocks and draw the watcher over to me. Wait for my signal. Come, girl, it's safe now. Harvest the kill so I can teach you how to make arrows. Good. Now. Gather stalks of Ridgewood from the plants over there. Use the stalks as arrow shafts and metal shards for our heads. Good. You'll never run out of arrows if you know how to craft what you need. Let's put those arrows to use. Follow. Stay low in the grass, and be quiet. It's time to make your first kill, Edwin. Strider, one of the weaker machines. And even a weak machine can kill a hunter, if she's careless. You must study your brain. Its hide is thick, but there are spots where it is vulnerable. Like its eye. Can you guess another? How did you guess that? The device. It showed me. But that plaything? Stop playing games. Now, take down that strider. Target the eye or the canister. And if it charges, be ready to roll out of the way. Keep firing! You did well today, but you have much to learn. Tomorrow, we train again. What was that? That boy. The one running the brave trails. Follow Eloy, quick!
Slowly and quiet. Can't let them see me. Wait. Oh, Mother, bless that girl. Bless you both. She, Boy! She saved me. I, I just wanted... Boy! Seal your lips! They are outcasts, both. And she is motherless. Come now. Back to Mother's heart. should not have spoken to us. It's against tribal law. We'll go home now. Follow. I know the way. Stay away, 
ain't no mother. My mother. Aloy, I've told you before, that's not for us to know. You were just a newborn when the matriarchs brought you to me. So the matriarchs, they know? <sighs> it's not so simple. But they know. Aloy, we are outcasts. So how do I make them tell me? The matriarchs? There is a way, perhaps. So tell me. It would be dangerous. How? It would take years of training. I don't care. How do I do it? Tell me. The proving. The tribe's rite of passage held every year. Those who pass become braves. But to the one who wins, the matriarchs grant a boon. A boon? Yes, whatever the winner wants. Then I'll do it. <laughs> whatever it takes. I'll win the proven. I see. We'd best get started then. Your training will be hard. And it'll take years. Start training? Yes. Follow. Where 
is he? Two days before the proving and he goes off without me? He wouldn't do that. He said we'd go hunting this morning. Why isn't he here? Where's he gone to? What's he doing up there? He's just standing there. What's going on with him? Aloy, you're here. Did you want to be alone? No. We must speak. I've been thinking about your training, Aloy. You've learned to hunt, learned to survive. But I fear there's a lesson I failed to teach you. Would you learn it now? Of course. I'll always learn what you have to teach. There has been some trouble recently. It affords an opportunity to learn this lesson, but it will be dangerous. You must come prepared, or you will die. Descend into the embrace, and hunt until you have gathered the parts for fire arrows. Fire arrows? What kind of trouble are we talking about? Once you have the parts, you will meet me there, at the gate beyond the village of Mother's Heart. Uh, the North Gate? At the edge of the embrace? Yes. Now be on your way. Is something else bothering you? No. I'm fine. Are you worrying about what happens... after the proving? What happens is clear. You will be accepted as one of the tribe, and I will still be an outcast. To be shunned. Rost, even if the tribe accepts me, I won't- There is much to do, Aloy. We will discuss this later. Okay. Anything else you want me to do while I'm down in the embrace? Oh... Uh, Odd Grata might be out of food by now. You could hunt a week's worth of meat for her, if you find the time. Wouldn't mind, if she'd say thanks just once. Grata follows the law. Her science towards us is honorable, not an insult. If you say so. I'll go gather the parts, but... I'm also going to pay Karst a visit. Aloy, that man breaks the law every time he speaks to you. And I'm glad he does. I want to buy a trip caster, and no other trader will sell to outcasts. Stock it with ammunition, then. You'll find use for that weapon tonight. That sounds ominous. All right, see you at the North Gate. Something's really bothering him. The Pope thinks I'm gonna abandon him. He's wrong.
the embrace. My whole life I've never gone beyond this valley. That'll change after the proving. Two days. Two days until I get answers. Two days and I'll know who she was. And why I was cast out at birth. As if there could be an excuse for that. All right, time to gather the parts for some fire arrows. I should find a herd. Mother's heart. Two more days, and I'll know what it's like in there. It's so many people crammed into one place. I guess no one ever gets lonely in there. No one else around, except to meet. My guess is he'll be waiting for me. There he is. Looks nervous. Outcast on my doorstep, all mother protect me. Surprised you saw me the way you keep looking every other direction to make sure no one's watching. Careful there, or you'll sprain your neck. It's always a pain in the neck when you show up, girl, one way or another. <laughs> Is there a reason why you're acting so cranky today? Once you run the proving and get made a brave, you'll deal with traitors in mother's heart. Maybe I don't like losing customers. Traitors who don't break the law and deal with outcasts, you mean? That's right. Our days of crime will be behind us, so long as you keep quiet. 
Are you worried I'm going to tell someone that you trade with outcasts? I don't think you're the kind who talks, but you never know. You can stop worrying. The secret's safe with me. Yeah, that's what I figured. But I don't mind hearing it. The only person I've ever told about our trades is Rost. Yeah, well, not like he can turn me in even if he wanted to. Law and duty sort of a man, that Rost. I don't know how you stand it. You really don't know why he was cast out? I've told you no. I don't think anyone knows what he did, but it must have been serious because his term is for life. Why do you take the risk, trading with outcasts? Every time you ask. If a big, meaningful talk is what you're after, move along. It's because you used to be one, isn't it? Yeah. Got caught poking around one of the metal ruins out beyond the Embrace. Matriarch said I was tainted and gave me five years. What did you see in the ruins? Nothing I can make sense of. After my shunning, I tried living back in Mother's heart, but... Everyone I knew had moved on, and there were so many people everywhere I turned. I like it better out here. Last time I visited, you had a Tripcaster available for trade. Still got it? I do. But you'd need to bring me a scrapper lens. What can I say? Special weapons don't come cheap. Oh, I can pay. Took down a scrapper not long ago. Stripped out the lens in perfect condition. I'll be the judge of that. Show me. Now that you've got yourself a trip caster, practice how to use it someplace else, all right? My life's exciting enough without a bunch of shock wire booby traps to trip over. Really? Could have fooled me. <laughs> Will you be around later, in case I want to make another trade? I'll be here. Same as usual, bring me the parts you harvest from any machines you hunt. The better the parts, the more shards I'll pay. Be sure to take a close look at my inventory, though. Who knows? Maybe I've got something that could give you an edge in the proving. I guess that concludes our business. All right. Good luck in the proving. Blessing of all mother and all that. I've got what I need. Time to meet Rost at the North Gate. Whatever they're hunting out there, it doesn't sound easy. There he is. You have the fire arrows? I do. 
Those explosions and shouts beyond the embrace. Is that the trouble you were talking about? You will know soon enough. Until then, we wait for dark. Wait for dark? Look, Rost. I thought it through, and I'm not going to shun you after the proving, okay? I'm just... I won't do it. I'm not about to pretend that you never raised me. Aloy, the law forbids all contact. It does, and I don't care. I know what duty means for you, Rost, but all tribal law has ever done for me is take things away. And that's not gonna happen again. Aloy, I must obey the law. And so you will. I knew you'd say that, so this is what we'll do. I'll come to you in secret. No one will see me, so I won't get in trouble. A and I know you won't talk to me because it's against the law, but I'll talk to you. It'll be my crime, not yours. You'll just listen. And that's how we'll handle this. You've put a lot of thought into this. I know. So you can stop worrying. It's handled. Yes. So it is. I don't understand. Those explosions are outside the embrace. What can we do from in here? The lesson will be taught in due time, Aloy. Till then, we wait. I saw Karst and got that tripcaster I was talking about. I hate to think what that outlaw trader charged for a weapon of that make. It wasn't cheap, but the caster is worth it. Perhaps. You'll know it's worth soon enough. Still a while to go before dark. I guess I'll get some rest. Good idea. There'll be no time for sleep tonight. Opening a gate for an outcast? Some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. <sighs> so much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy. With threats unlike any you have ever faced. That carcass? What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth, and it's something new, something angry. Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. Yeah. Follow the path. It's not far. That cabin. What happened to it? A machine, that's what. What sort of machine does that? The sort of machine you're hunting now. Oh, I see. I'll watch your carcass. I'll harvest the parts. Watch your surroundings. Why are we the only ones out here tonight? Why can't the tribe's braves hunt this machine? They did. The kills we've passed are theirs. Tomorrow, they will hunt again. They won't need to. This machine will be my kill. Or your death, if you're not careful.
Tooth? How many were there? I didn't bring you here to answer questions, Aloy. I brought you here to deal with that. yours to make, Aloy. Yours alone. No matter what happens, I will not intervene. You understand? You are on your own. I should stay out of sight. I can use the tall grass to approach. Okay, let's see. Where can I place my traps? Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone. We're finished here. Follow. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the Embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's Heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I understand the final lesson, Rost. Do you? But if I'm going to stand for something, it'll have to be something I believe in. Then I hope you find it, Aloy. I hope you do. I'll go back to the cabin with you. I'm not heading there just yet. I have other plans. Oh, such as? I'll be waiting for you when it is time. I'll see you at Mother's Heart then. You will.
They're scanning for me. Aloy, we must speak. So, it's time. Are you ready? Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. What should I expect once I'm inside? There'll be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs, a center of Nora life, a jewel of the sacred land. Give it time, and you'll grow fond of it. As I was, back when I was at the tribe. Are you sure they're gonna let me in? <laughs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this, too. Remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This... Attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. No. It's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you. First, the proving. After that, I'll see where his trail leads. You will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. 
but for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? isn't it? Over here. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Try it on whenever you feel like it. Thank you, Tep. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. Jog, get down from there. Yeah, Bad enough, you're I've drunk. Better. Why do you have to go climbing houses? Oh, Listen not supposed now. to go climbing on other people's you'll roofs. Have to Possibly, when I'm gone. you won't last a minute you against Bala. Get... Not in a real all fight. From all All were hoping hey, Lloyd, over here. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the Proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last-minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's well, Heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, 
I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. All right, let's do this. Until next time. Next time, you'll be a brave. I'm with High Matriarch Lanzra. We should let those Karja outsiders pollute our sacred land. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with the Karja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace. It's peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers Arms. and slavers! Slavers! Hey, hey, Luminance hold your Lord. fruit, Nora. Oh. Nora Faithful, hold your fruit. Now I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. now who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah! The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude Written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. <clears throat> People of the Nora, on the eve of your proving, know the Karja stand with you. As the sun's light is wearing a focus, just like mine. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. Ah! What's wrong? Apologies. Ah, uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. No, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. Lenora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Now let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. 
Life takers and machine breakers to a one. He might even give the Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. What else do you know about Olin? Is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I wanted to ask you something else. Yeah, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. So, what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the son sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. Who are the Asaram? Oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things. Arguing, working steel, and brewing. And freebooters. What are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries. You know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Oh, well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah. I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth? Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? Well, no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. 
There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. But take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire, like a blade thrust into the sky reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge. Or an invitation. Tell me about the derangement again. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook, so it was hard to take. But then the now, when a hunter fought, a few more years pass, and they start attacking people. If that wasn't... Like the sawtooth. Yeah, t So what's making... Uh, no one... I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. I should make my way to the blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'd be a whole new life, if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? How am I supposed to enjoy myself with those bloodthirsty cards of faithless hanging about profaning the land? Perhaps the cards have come to make amends. All aspirants are in place. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. <laughs> Blasphemy. Sisters. Aspirants. Before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. In honor of Rost, and all he did to help me get here. Oh, mother! Hear our prayer! What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. There's Olin. I have some questions for him. Bast, Bast, Bast. What about Vala? She's strong. Blood of a war chief. In her. Of course, Bast is gonna win. Just look at him. I won't let the cards of fate stop me from enjoying the festival. Hello, Olin. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the Claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there. The metal seams run deep, 
Steel giants half buried in loose soil, forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Mine's never malfunctioned, and I've had it since I was a child. So yours is in better shape, then? I'm sure the land here is full of relics. Seeing how you Nora are too scared to delve the ruins. Because they think ruins are cursed. But I never said I think that. If the North acknowledges a curse, I'm inclined to agree. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another Outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the King's court. That's all. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need the bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... Try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> For the goddess to judge the Karja, not me. The past should be left in the past. Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You're... you're very pregnant here! <sighs> well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. You didn't know the words to the blessing, did you? But no one hears your prayers anyway. Aw, oh, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. The only way you know how to feel strong is to make someone else feel weak. It's not working. <laughs> I've trained all my life. You'll see tomorrow how strong I am. Oh, I've seen plenty. You grew a man's body, kind of. But down deep, you're still a scrawny little brat. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. What I remember is how the other children saw that you were a monster. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, Outcast. 
Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. Nice job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. So, your first day in Mother's heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. It has... certain charms. Homey enough, once you're accepted. That's the problem. I think you'll find a place here. I do. Get some rest. yourselves what will it take to get you out of here Outcast. Looks like you'll need another. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Urvala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. 
Better dead last than dead altogether. Whoa, 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 whoa! My old mother, are you crazy? You're gonna kill yourself! It doesn't get any easier! You're insane to go that way! That's it. No, we put it forward Just now. Stop right there. Just turn around and turn around. Please, please. I can't see! Box! The ball are right behind me. Come on now! Faster! Stop dragging! Gotta keep going! Yeah, yeah. On the old trail? Is she crazy? Good. I'm gaining. Look! The outcast is catching up! How'd she get up there? This is gonna be close. I've made it. Come on now, hurry. Keep at it. She is a brave now. You did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast. And now brave. Who is first among us. Ah! survivors. Stay Come together. On, oh no, there's more. 
They came coming! How many are there? We're dead too if you don't fight! Descend while we have a chance.
Dying. <gasps> Configure there is blasphemy. She should be near her mother. found me before I bled out. But why is no one here? Where am I? <sighs> my clothes. Good. But where's my focus? Jerks are allowed inside. I... I don't see my bow here. Or that damaged focus, the one I took off that... Where are they? I'm picking up some kind of signal. Looks like the ruins are there. 
with the rest of my things. Awake! You brought me here? Quickly, you must follow. To where? To the place where you were born. Are you saying I was born here? Inside the mountain? It is easier if I show you. Does my mother look like me, but with short hair? I don't see how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. The mountain is your mother. I'm... What? What are you talking about? Come. The Great Chamber, where all mother slew the Metal Devil and gave birth to you. Aloy, the Proving Massacre was just the first of many disasters. The war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered. But what does that have to do with where I was born? My hope is... everything. This is where we found you. We heard your cries, came to look, and there you were. Just... just lying there? Yes. You mean I came from behind the door? Always, that is what I have believed. That you came from the womb of the mountain. A gift from all mother herself. But others... Like Lansra, feared that a darker power put you here. Not a gift, but a curse. 
But this isn't a goddess. Aloy! It's a door. With people behind it. My mother? <gasps> oh! Hold for identity scan. The goddess speaks. Just like the woman I saw. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Identity cannot be confirmed. Entry denied. No. No. Aloy, all mothers spoke to you, as if she knew you. Were you not listening? It didn't recognize me. Because of corruption. The goddess's own words. Surely, if you heal this corruption, she will see you clearly. And how would I do that? You said you've had visions. Of a woman with short hair. The killers came for me. Because I look like her. But their power is overwhelming. Is there no other trail to follow? Owen. He was one of the outsiders. The night before the proving. The killer saw me through his eyes. He lives in Meridian. So you will have to leave the sacred land. I've been an outcast all my life. Why not an exile too? There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. You said the tribe is on the brink of extinction. What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was sent after the killers. Less than half survived. Uh, how was the war party defeated? The killers do not fight alone. Somehow they have a power over the machines, corrupting them, driving them mad. So the killers got away? Yes. And now the only plan my sister matriarchs can agree to is to sing the hymn of atonement and beg for all mother's mercy. As though she would not want us to help ourselves. Then what's your plan? This. This was my plan. To show you where you were born and loose you to follow the destiny all mother intended for you. The other High Matriarchs are waiting for us. Let me do the talking. It is done? Yes. I showed her. Sisters, the Goddess spoke to Aloy. Told her to heal the corruption. Ha! But how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A seeker? If the goddess spoke, it must be so. You would name this thing a seeker? Sister! For once, Lanzra, join with us. This will be your sin, not mine. Send her seeking, and may she never be seen again. Aloy, by the holy grace of the One Goddess, we hereby anoint you a Seeker of the Nora tribe. No barrier can now stay you from your sacred task. May All Mother protect you and sustain you. Stay true. I will make ready for the hymn.
Tirsa, what's a seeker? You are. And here is your mark. In times of great need, the High Matriarchs may anoint a seeker. A worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose. No matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the sacred land? Yes. And with the right to return when you are done, or as the need arises. So, I can go anywhere at all. No restrictions. Even to forbidden places, like the tainted lands beyond all mother's sight. Or the ruins of the metal world. I see. Why are the ruins of the metal world forbidden? They are blighted places, Aloy. Dark and wicked. Like the children of metal who built them. When they rebelled and tried to murder all mother, her wrath leveled their cities, but could not cleanse their sin. Their ancient spite haunts those ruins, ready to ensnare anyone foolish enough to enter them. But I've been in a ruin. It looked a lot like the inside of Allmother. That cannot be so. It is. Then this is something beyond my understanding. I will trust you to reveal the truth. Why are the lands beyond Nora territory called Tainted? Is it not obvious? Our land is sacred. We live in sight of the One Goddess, All Mother, source of all that lives. Beyond her sight lies a vast fallen land, spiritually tainted. That is why it is against tribal law to leave. But the Seeker Blessing will protect you. Have there been other Seekers? There have, but they are rare, and most who set out are never heard from again. Was Rost a seeker? No, not a seeker. What are you not telling me? This is not the time, Aloy. Perhaps another day. What was done with Rost's body? I'm afraid there was very little left to recover. But what there was... We buried at the place where he raised you, with flowers on the grave. Thank you. So many have suffered. Is there anything I can do to help? What is most important is for you to fulfill the purpose all mother has intended for you. I don't know what that means any more than you do. Then you must find out. If, however, you sense that part of your purpose is to help the tribe, by all means, do so. I have no doubt you will find people in need throughout the Embrace. You said the Nora sent a war party after the killers. Yes. But it was ambushed and overrun. Very few escaped alive. And most that did were wounded. Do you know where the killers went? No. But you could ask Varl, one of the braves guarding the gates of the Embrace. He survived the ambush. He would know more. I should be on my way. From here, you must go to the gates of the Embrace. Speak to Varl, and he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, make sure they know you are a Seeker. Oh, I will. Thank you, Tirsa, for all you've done. May all Mother bless you and watch over you. Nora Faithful, we will soon begin. Purify your hearts. Soon we will beg forgiveness for the sins that brought such misery on the tribe. When we hear the matriarchs lift their voices, we will join ours to theirs. The outcast girl. So she survived her wounds. She saved many lives. The tribe is lucky to have her. Save these for the trail.
Everything's sharp and looming in the ring. Mother be praised. You're alive. Ah, uh, the outcast approaches. Ignore her. Continue the report. There are rumors of a huge Dark metal that corrupts every machine it touches. Where did it come from? Our lips. They say it broke through the gates of All mother's ears. Who is they? Varlin's father. They tried to stop it, but the demon was too fast, too powerful. Farl's a fool to defend that gate. It is here if not just watch the book will make out the way. Good. All true Nora will lift their voices in song. Is she still here? Oh. I don't care. Yes, face. Let's have a talk. I heard the rumors, but I didn't know for sure until I saw you just now. <sighs> I'm glad to see you're okay. What sort of rumors did you hear? That you were wounded, expected to die. And then, High Matriarch Tirsa insisted that you be allowed to heal inside All Mother. Huh. That caused a stir. Only matriarchs are allowed to enter the mountain, but you deserve the honor. The survivors had told everyone how you fought to save them. I wasn't the only one to fight. No. They spoke of Bast and Vala, too. And Rost, the man who raised me. He... he fought to save me and he died for it. The survivors didn't speak of him. But I remember him. He was there that day when you saved me. I remember he stepped in front of you when my father started yelling. If by dying he saved your life, Aloy, I don't think he regretted it. I need the gate opened. Do you have any idea how dangerous it is out there? I need to pass through. You'll have to talk to Resh then, up on the wall. He's the new war chief. I'm not sure he'll help you. What's the danger in the embrace? Are the killers still there? No. They're long gone. The war party went after them. But the killers slaughtered them. They have some evil power over the machines. They corrupt them. Make them fight at their side. And these corrupted machines? They're loose in the embrace? Some have broken through. And from what I hear, it's even worse outside the embrace. Believe me, this is no time to go traveling. Why wouldn't Rush help me? Well, he says... mean things about you. That I'm a motherless curse, an outcast, that sort of thing? Yeah. I wish he hadn't been made war chief, but Sona disappeared after the ambush. They say she went after the killers all by herself. Who is Sona? Sona was the tribe's war chief, but she went missing after the war party was ambushed. You probably saw her at Mother's Heart, a tall, lean woman with dark skin and long white hair. Her daughter ran in approving, but she died. Was Vala her daughter? Yes, she was. I liked her. So did I. What are you doing here with a bow and spear, Teb? 
You're a stitcher, not a brave. Most of our braves are dead or wounded, Aloy. Someone has to defend Mother's Watch, so... I thought I'd help out. I should be okay. Just as long as I don't try to run any brave trails, right? I should be on my way, Teb. May all Mother go with you. I need the gate opened. <laughs> Since when has any outcast's need been my concern? I recognize you from the proving. You saw Boss shatter my trophy. And you did nothing. You would speak ill of the dead? Truly you have no shame. I nearly put an arrow through your eye. And you threaten me in front of witnesses? When the High Matriarchs hear of this, you'll be an outcast all over again. I've been anointed a Seeker. So open the gate. You? A Seeker? Have Tissa and Jezza gone insane? Bad enough that they let you run in the Proving. But to nurse you back to health inside the Sacred Mountain? <sighs> no wonder a curse is upon us and children lie dead under cairns of stone. How can you be so heartless? I fought beside those children, shoulder to shoulder and back to back. I saw them fall. If even one of them had been true, Nora, they would have put an arrow in your back. Resh, come on. Silence! I am your war chief. And I am a seeker anointed by the High Matriarchs. So open the gate, and I will be on my way. <sighs> the sooner you're gone from here, the better. What was that?
these things down. marched with the killers at the proving. How does a machine like that take control of all those striders? Just a memory now. I need to know how that machine took possession of those striders. Maybe my focus can tell me how that machine controlled the other ones. How does it possess other machines? What's its secret? How'd you do it? Show me. <coughs> you made them obey you. How? This. You did it with this. It's connecting to my focus. Then I could use this. It's worth a shot. Couple loops of wire. Looks like it'll hold. I just need to test it. Aloy! How did you do that? You killed that demon. Pulled its guts from the carcass. The way it controls other machines. I think I've figured it out. But I need to test it on a machine. Uh, plenty of striders along the path to the gates of the Embrace, I guess. Exactly. And the gates are where I'll be headed anyway. I need to speak to Varl. I always knew you were different, Aloy, but... But what? I think you're a blessing from All Mother. No matter what Ress says. <sighs> Thank you, Teb. But I have to go now. I know you do. And my thoughts go with you. Braves! I want that gate repaired immediately! I don't care if you have to bandage it together. Get it done! I need to find a machine and see what this device can do. That a boy. That's more like it. Yeah! 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 Ride! <laughs> this strider is fast! <laughs> this beats walking. I should try overriding other kinds of machines. Probably can't ride them all, but I might find some. Watch yourselves! Bring it closer! Closer! Varl, I take it? Am I seeing things? Or were you riding that strider when you came through the gate? Uh, I was. It's hard to explain. I imagine so. Strange times we live in. We who've survived. I recognize you, of course. Aloy, the outcast who won the proving. I'm glad to see you survived your wounds. High Matriarch Tirsa said you might know the way to Meridian. The capital of the Karja Sundom? You seek exile? No. A traitor named Olin. The Matriarchs made me a seeker so I could go after him. Huh. Well, then you should head north to Mother's Crown. If you make it, talk to Morea. She'll point the way. If I make it? The trail is dangerous. Ever since the War Party Massacre, our lands go unpatrolled. 
and our borders unguarded. We have no war chief to lead us. Isn't that Resh's job? Ugh. Only because Sona went missing. Now, I'd go after her myself, but she ordered me to hold this gate with my life. And so I have. You said the trail is dangerous. What sorts of dangers? <laughs> Almost too many to name. The killers are still out there, and somehow they've corrupted the machines, spreading madness. Yes, I've seen it myself. Bandits, too. Cutthroats who snuck across the border to prey on us. And word is, there's a camp in the metal ruins upriver. Sounds like I need to craft more arrows. You said I won the proving. How did you know that? And I spoke to survivors. They said you fought bravely, as did Bast. And my sister. Your sister was Bala? I'm, I'm very sorry. I, I liked her. I think we might have even become friends if we'd had a chance. Thank you. She died saving others. There is no better death. You said the war party was massacred. How? When word came of the attack on the Proving, War Chief Sona assembled a war party to give chase. But in their haste to get vengeance, some braves broke rank and raced ahead, straight into a trap. A pack of crazed machines, seething with corruption, fell upon the braves and savaged them. War Chief Sona led a countercharge and destroyed the machines, but by then the killers were gone, and our losses were extreme. You said War Chief Sona is missing? Even when the war party was massacred, she wouldn't give up the chase. She called for volunteers and went after the killers. You didn't volunteer? Of course I did. But Sona denied me that. She ordered me to see the wounded back to the embrace. And to guard this gate. To guard the embrace. With my life. That was days ago. And since then there's been no word from her. So there's no way to know if she's alive or dead? If anyone could survive out there, it would be her. Sona's prowess is legend. An unbending spear to measure ourselves against. Sounds like she sets a high standard. Oh, you have no idea. She's my mother. I should be on my way. Aloy, before you make the journey to Mother's Crown and beyond, is there any chance you could search for Sona? The tribe needs her leadership. I'd go after her myself if she hadn't commanded me to hold this gate at all costs. Where was she last seen? The War Party Massacre site. A wooded hollow across from Devil's Thirst, on this side of the river. You might be able to pick up her trail there. She went after the killers who attacked the Proving, who killed those we love, who tried to kill you, and... I... I get it, Varl. I'll see what I can do. May the goddess protect. Mother's crown. Whatever happens to me. Feels more like a military camp. I'll remember. I bet this village has seen better days. So many wounded. Here she is. They made her a seeker. Come here, girl. The girl with the mark of a seeker. The sentinel saw you coming. You're Maria. Varl told me you'd know the way to Meridian. The Karja capital. West will take you to it. But their soldiers will stop you long before you get there. They can try. No, what I mean is there's a Karja fort that guards the pass between East and West. Word is, the Karja have sealed the gate out of fear of the corrupted machines infesting our sacred land. So if I clear out the corrupted machines, they'll open the border? I suppose. But I can't spare any braves to help you. Who said I needed help? You'll clear the valley, all by yourself. I'm good with a bow. For your sake? Better than good, I hope. So I'll find this Karja fort to the west? And beyond that, Meridian? Yes, the Karja call the place Day Tower. It's not far from the Forsaken Village. 
What Forsaken Village? It had a name once, not that it matters now. I was born there. What happened to it? The war. The cards were destroyed in one of their red raids. I was 15 at the time. I got away, others weren't so lucky. The Nora withdrew to this place, Mother's Crown. Relinquished our claim on the valley. Even now, with the war behind us, we've left the valley be. A kind of buffer between the Sundom and our sacred land. How far has the corruption spread? I've seen it myself in machines at the head of the valley. And there's been word of corrupted machines in the south, too. Whatever the corruption is, it doesn't just affect machines. It burns flesh and sickens the injured. Do the corrupted machines have any weaknesses? Fire seems to affect them more than ordinary machines. A small mercy. This is a curse only the goddess can lift. Unless we find out what's behind it and put a stop to it. The matriarchs have spoken, Aloy. All we can do is fight and pray to the goddess. Mother's crown guards the edge of the sacred land, right? So do you see a lot of foreigners here? Yes. Not here in the village itself, of course, but in the valley beyond. Since the war ended, foreigners have been allowed in the valley, and Nora can trade with them, if they choose. It's a kind of in-between place, neither foreign nor sacred land. If you're curious, visit Hunter's Gathering. It's little more than a heap of dingy shelters and tents, but foreigners use it as a way station. Sounds like a place where I could find out more about Meridian. So you're in charge of the defenses here? Mother's Crown defends itself. During the war, it survived 15 assaults, broke three invasions. We will endure. Trying to live up to glorious pasts has a way of getting people killed. You would know this, but I won the proving the year I ran. Like you, I started off behind, had to find a shortcut. I barely made it, crossed the finish line with a broken ankle. This isn't the proving, Morea. This is real. You missed my point. Getting posted to Mother's Crown? It was the boon I requested. My prize for winning. Trying to live up to the glory of the Nora hasn't killed me yet. But if it has to, I'm willing. I should be going. All right. Be careful out there, Aloy. I hope you find whatever it is you're after. If you who saw this would to tell of it, faithless fellows will try to know. The bravest of us have gone down. My own damn fault. Should have got out of here. <sighs> well, I hope you're looking to buy. I could use the shards. See anything you like? Well, I'll be Thank you. them out. This 
poison. It seems almost to eat away at metal. Maybe that's what drives the machines mad. Might find a way to use it someday. Second village that Maria spoke of. It's in shambles. Here they come, corrupted watchers. Time to see if the Karja Fort will let me pass over the mountains. Can't be too prepared.
risking its ass down here. Closer! So, will you open the gate for me now? <laughs> you heard her! Open the gates! And send word to Captain Balan! Where are you headed, girl? West! To Meridian! The way of broken stones is a hard run, even in the best of times. You might want to have a word with Captain Balan. He came from Meridian not long ago. You find him in the fort, on a balcony to the left overlooking the valley. Okay, thanks. We're the ones who should be thanking you for taking down those machines. Walk in light, Nora. Sacred land. I need to find Olin and learn everything he knows. Who the killers were, how they saw me through his focus. Who the woman is, one who looks like me. Why they want me dead. Olin's trail leads to Meridian. When I catch him, he will talk. And he will pay for all the lives he's ruined.
lots of machines. Lenora managed to take down a corruptor. Maybe the war chief left something behind. They sent a stampede of them down the slope. But not before the killers used it to send the other machines against them. Let us speak! The dead and wounded all cleared away. Are there no more braves or healers here? Just me. You're hurt. What happened? I didn't. It's madness out there. War Chief Sona sent me back to report. I'm no good to her like this. Varl told me that the war chief tracked the killers. Did she find them? We followed their trail, but again and again they sent corrupted machines to attack us. My wounds started to slow me down, so the war chief sent me back to let others know she hasn't given up the fight. So, you were here when the war party was ambushed? I was. I thought after the proving there could be no darker day, but I was wrong. The war chief was delayed gathering the rear guard. Eager for revenge, the braves in the lead fell into the trap. Dozens lost in minutes. If Sona hadn't arrived and rallied us, no one would have survived. Varl sent me to look for Sona. Do you know where she is now? All I can tell you is where we parted. Near the metal tower, southeast of the ruins at Devil's Thirst. Look to the rise behind it with a lone boulder. I'll head for the Embrace and report what I know to Varl and the others. May All Mother lend you strength. You'll need it, going alone. runner told me about. Dressings for wounds. The runner wasn't the only one who got hurt. The war chief stopped here. Might be a blood trail I could follow. I should try my focus. They must have taken a moment to rest. Couldn't have been easy, going on after the ambush. That old bow has seen a lot of action. No one would have left it willingly. Someone has taken losses. A recent kill. Freshly skinned. Sona and her braves can't be far. Arrow shards. Braves were crafting ammunition here.
dead sawtooth. Maybe Sona took it out. She could be close. You're lucky I happened by. One heartbeat more, and that sawtooth would have torn you apart. Half a heartbeat more, and I would have killed it myself. Uh, so you're War Chief Sona? Varl asked me to find you. Has he held the gate? He has, bravely. I saw him kill a corrupted machine himself. But he worries for you. Our tribe needs strength, not sentiment. I've tracked some of the killers who struck the Proving. I crave vengeance. Do you? You have no idea. Show me then. Lend me your strength. Follow. The killers are just across this ridge, digging the cursed earth. The sin of the ancients is buried in that soil. Corrupted demons. I know of them. I killed one at Mother's Watch. A bold claim. I wonder if you'll live up to it. and braves into hiding in the trees below. On my signal, they'll attack. The enemy and their demonic machines outnumber us, but we will have fury on our side. We could have more than that. Explain. That's Blaze. What we used to burn, they used to blast. It's how they dug out this pit. So we put fire to it and then? Boom. Then let us begin. Whoa, wait. Let's not rush. Give me some time to make an approach. If I end up alerting them, open fire. All right. Let's see what you can do. Suppose it was nothing.
This wasn't all the killers. I counted more at the War Party Massacre. If I have to chase their filthy shadows from here to Spears Reach, I will. You're hurt. Losing blood. My health is not your concern. No one doubts your determination. But you need rest. She's right, War Chief. Give your wounds time to close. Val! What are you doing here? I ordered you to hold that gate with your life. And so I did, until the runner you sent returned with news of his encounter with Aloy and your location. I left the gate well guarded. My place is here, with you, with our vengeance. Am I not owed that? Uh, maybe I should have a look around, see if I can figure out where the rest of the killers are. Do as you wish. Everyone else does. Mother. Enough. Commanders, over the past month, accidental blaze explosions have killed a dozen men. Here in the Ring of Metal, I've taken the precaution of placing our entire stockpile in a covered shelter, safe from stray sparks and lightning, and I've posted guards to control access. I urge you to take similar measures, or suffer the consequences. Supply Master Theron, out. <sighs> a blaze stockpile inside their base. Sabotage that, and we win. I found something. The rest of the killers are camped inside a ring of metal. 
Any idea what that means? Damn them. The ring of metal lies in the ruins of Devil's Grief. That ground is taboo. I will return to the Matriarchs. Beg them to make an exception. There's no time for that. Blood spilled calls for blood spilled. If the ground is cursed, then let our vengeance sanctify it. You blaspheme. Please, Warchief, break the taboo. Devil's Grief is a cursed place. But maybe Aloy's secret blessing can protect us. I'll send scouts ahead. Our force will assemble at the cliff above Red Echoes and launch our attack from there. Sounds like a plan. See you there. Devil's grief. Foreboding sight, huh? Don't you ever wonder what it used to look like? Back when the old ones lived here. You're not like other Nora. That's what they tell me. War Chief. Our scouts found enemy camps in the ruins, guarding the approach to the Ring of Metal. Then we should hit those camps first. Make sure they stay quiet. Agreed. Wipe out the camps, and our enemies in the Ring of Metal won't see us coming. I'll take out the alarms. We'll send braves to each camp to lie in wait. Would you start? They'll help finish. Someone slaughtered one of us.
They're leaving. Easy, easy. Heard something.
We did it for all mother. We are all brave today. The camps have been dealt with. Now to the Ring of Metal. Its high walls protect the enemy. We'll have to scale the height. Under fire if we're detected. I have another idea. Their base has a weakness. Send me in alone, and I'll exploit it. If I'm successful, I'll blow a hole in those walls big enough for the entire war party to charge through. Sounds like a plan. So long as I get to come with you. A war chief should be grateful for two arrows so eager to spring from the bow. Yes, Varl. Go with Aloy as her spearmate, but be vigilant. Yes, war chief. I will. Go now. We wait on your signal. You do have a plan, right? You followed me this far, even into the ruins. I thought you trusted me. I do, but how would you know that this base has a weakness? Patience, Varl. We'll know soon enough. Take my hand. Take the one on the right.
take the one on the left. The wood grinds us down, but the shadow will hurt us. Take the one on the left. There. See that covered shelter? Do you see those corruptors? Focus, Varl. That shelter is full of blaze. A whole stockpile of it. If I set it off, the explosion will destroy those corruptors and collapse the wall, too. A breach for the Nora to charge through. Can't hit it from here, though. We'll need to get closer. I'll get closer. You head back. Tell Sona the plan and lead them to that side of the ring. I'll see it done. And when the wall collapses, I'll be first through the breach. Now all I have to do is make it all happen. If I can do this quietly, it'll be a lot easier.
I've got your... Watch what's coming! All oh, mother, look upon our victory. A debt of blood is paid. Remember this day, brave Nora. From your lips to the goddess's ears. Yes, remember it. Be ready to leave this place. Let your spears and arrows rest in the bodies of the fallen. They are tainted, like these ruins. It's over. They won't be able to kill again. I need to find Owen and learn everything he knows. Who the killers were, how they saw me through his focus. Ready. Sorry for the wait, but all goods entering the city are subject to search. This is outrageous. We're loyal citizens. How long do we have to wait? What am I supposed to do? Just sit here and let everything spoil? I thought Meridian was open to all the lost. I'm a guard, not the town crier. What's going on here? Roland's in there, somewhere. And so is Aaron, that other outlander I talked to the night before the proving. Aaron said he'd introduce me to his sister if I visited Meridian. Said she was captain of the vanguard. They charge their own tribe. If this keeps up, I'll be broken. Should be out there fighting It's always the merchants who suffer. City's locked down. I'm not getting a crew, Outlander. Halt! Stop right there. In light of the recent attack, no stranger passes into Meridian without submitting to search. Recent attack? What are you talking about? The murder of Captain Ursa and her vanguards, of course. Ambushed by Shadow Carja forces in Redridge Pass. Ursa? You mean Erend's sister is dead? How would you know his name? I know Erend. Summon him. I need to speak to him. Ha! Huh. I doubt that Erend, the new captain of the Vanguard, a man in grief, is going to waste his time on a grimy outlander. Aloy! Hey, you're alive! I thought you were dead! Make way! Make way! All the way to Meridian, just to see me? Have you been drinking? Ah, not really. A little. So, you're alive! This, uh, we should celebrate! The drink's on me! We need to talk, alone, and you need to pull it together. Over there. So you approve? 
Of course I approve. From now on, she may come and go from this city as she pleases. As you wish, sir. There. Alone as you asked. And what did you want to tell me? A lot has happened since we last spoke. The Proving was... attacked by a group of killers. Not many of us survived. We were in the village when we heard explosions up on the mountain. Some of your braves came back, said most of the contestants were dead. I've never heard such a wail of grief as the sound that rose up from your people. How did you survive? How I survived is less important than how I was targeted. Targeted? What do you mean? The killers came for me because of Owen. What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. I need to find Owen. I need to know what he knows. But... he's a friend. No, he's a traitor. I don't know who the killers are or what they want, but I do know that Owen is working with them. But... I mean... this... I don't need you to understand, Erend. I just need you to take me to him. He's not here. He went scrounging for scrap and relics days ago. It could be anywhere. Are there any places he frequents? Places he returns to? A house. Here in Meridian. Okay, then take me there. I need to search it. I guess. As long as I'm there to witness the search. I heard what happened to Ursa. I'm sorry. I know she was special to you. Special to me? <laughs> special to everyone. She always knew what to do. She bossed everyone around. She kept me in line. Now I'm supposed to fill her shoes. And instead, here I am, stumbling around in them. I, uh... I lost someone, too. At the Proving, the man who raised me. His name was Ross. That's terrible. Why is it every time something terrible happens, everyone else tells you the worst thing that ever happened to them, as though that makes it easier? Yeah, why is that? Anyway, there was something you wanted to tell me? I need to see Olin's place. Now. Okay, okay. Come on. So many people here all talking at once. How does anyone think? I don't. I just drink. Is she... a Nora? Apparently they're letting anyone into the city these days. Vengeance for Ursa! How long will Avad hide in his palace? Blood for blood! Vengeance for Ursa! How long will Avad hide in his palace? Year after year, why does he spare those who enslaved and tortured and butchered? Errant, you should want vengeance more than anyone. Your own sister, murdered, and her death, unavenged? One more word, you scorched out slag, and I'll throw you in jail myself! Now get out of here, or I'll give you all a kick in the ass! What did he mean about Ursa's murder? Not now. This time of day. Okay, how are we gonna get in? <laughs> oh, that was... Subtle. Here we are. Try not to break anything. That other than the door. All of this for one man. It pays to have connections oh, in the no, Sun King's court. And the floor near it is warm.
That looks like a picture of Owen's family. underneath hey how did that get here question is how to get through it without a key you won't that's a vault hatch of Azaram make nothing gets through we'll see about that call it a day girl you're wasting time Looks big and heavy. Could do a lot of damage if it fell down. Let's give it a little push. I did say not to break anything, didn't I? You're going to see what's down there. Are you sure you're okay? I'm sober enough, all right? I don't need another lecture. That's not what I meant. I was talking about what happened outside with the crowd. I don't want to talk about that. We're here because of what you said about Olin, so do what you need to do. Did Olin ever invite you in? Nah. Closest I got was a doorstep to help him home after a night out. We drank a river that night, but I hold it well. Y usually. You said Olin has connections in the royal court. Does he know the Sun King personally? No. He served the court as a scout sometimes and sold ancient trinkets to nobles, but he never had an audience with the king. If you're right, and Olin's into something dark, Sun King Avad has nothing to do with it. I'd stake my life on that. I'll look around. That's what we came for. Looks like Olin kept a journal. Olin? I knew he could read contracts, but I never took him for a poet. No doubt now. Olin knew I was targeted. The map. The glyphs show places he visited. Serve and they live. Disobey. And I will open their throats and leave their corpses to prune in the sun. They took his wife and child captive. They? Who's they? The killers. They told him to obey or they'd kill his family. There's your proof. Read the last page. He writes about meeting me and the order to kill me. He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. How did you learn to read glyphs? And these things that you see, how do you do it? The focus. It reveals the unseen. And Olin's focus. It's the same? The device is the same, but... Somehow, Olin and the killers can speak to each other with their focuses over distances, and see through each other's focuses, too, like looking through each other's eyes. So that's how the killers saw you? Through Olin? 
Yes, so far as I can tell. Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. All by yourself? Leave it to me. I'm faster on my own. Wait. If that device lets you see the unseen... Out of the way, Erend. I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. I need to know who killed Ursa. Not just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that, but the exact soldiers who did it. I'm sorry about your sister, but that's your war, not mine. Don't act like this isn't personal. You came here hunting the people who nearly killed you, who massacred your people. Why should you have justice and not me? Look, I'll head for Red Ridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found, and wait for you there. A few minutes of your focus is all I need. Don't make me beg. Redridge Pass, you said. I'll see what I can do. Don't forget to stock up before you're on the road. I've got all the best food. That'll keep my stomach quiet. ancient things back to life. Their power serves us. Machine demons from beneath the ground. It's a nightmare. Nightmares, yes. The worst dreams of our enemies come true. Yes, rise. will destroy us all! They will only destroy our enemies and bring us back the lands that were taken. Ah! 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 It's not working. Search the area. We may have intruders. Forgive this intrusion, Aloy. You left me no choice. <laughs> Who is this? An interested party. Now, the focuses are disabled, but I don't know for how long. The rest is up to you. Who is this?
I promise. I'll tell you everything. I know you will. The killers who came for me at the Proving, who are they? The Eclipse. Some kind of holy warriors. A cult of the Shadow Karja. Shadow Karja? Except they're not like any Karja I've known. They don't pray to the sun. They worship some kind of devil. I'm not interested in their superstitions. Oh, it's not a superstition. Their devil is real. It has a name, a voice, the most terrible voice, and they do its bidding. You say this devil, the Eclipse Worship, has a name? Hades. That's what they call it. Hades. And you've heard it speak? Steal to my soul. I heard. Just once, when it saw you. Such a voice. A cold, awful jangle. It scrapes your bones. It hollows your guts. A metal sound. But like nothing dug from the earth or smelted in a forge. And what did it say? System threat detected. Just three words, but in the voice of a devil. What are these Eclipse cultists after, besides me? They never said, but given the Karja civil war, they must want to overthrow Sun King of Odd and take Meridian back. What do I have to do with that? I don't know. When they attacked the Proving, a man came for me. Tall, strong, dead eyes. He is. And who is he? The Terror of the Sun. Stacker of corpses, we Osram called him, when he was the Mad Sun King's champion. If only he'd died with his king. But now he leads the Eclipse. I tell you, he's the most dangerous man alive. How did the Eclipse recruit you? I know they took your family hostage, but why you? I was a scrounger. A rummager in dark places, good at what I do. I suppose they knew I would serve them well as a scout. I had taken a delve near Maker's End. When I surfaced, they were waiting. I laughed when I saw the priest, but then he showed me Helis's encouragement. I didn't laugh after that. They gave me a focus to watch my every move. I followed orders. You had access to Meridian. Why didn't they get to Avad through you? Too much dirt under my nails for an audience with the one true Sun King. But whatever Ursa or Aaron told me, the Eclipse heard every word through my focus. That's why I couldn't warn you. If I tried, they would have killed my family. Why are the Eclipse digging up ancient machines? And how do they get them to work? I thought they wanted them for scrap, but they brought them back to life. Plugged some kind of device into the corpses so that Hades could whisper to them and call them from their grave. I've fought that kind of machine before. Are there others? Yes. The ones you fought today they call Corruptors, but there are others. Much bigger, bristling with ancient weapons. Those they call Deathbringers. I've only seen them buried in the ground, but after today, anything is possible. Sounds to me like they're raising an army. If so, the world will fall. And I helped dig the pit. The Eclipse were sent to kill me because I look like another woman. Older, maybe twice my age, short hair. Who is she? I don't know. My focus found her image once, in the ruins at Maker's End. Maybe you can find her there. You found her image in the ruins? How? There was a door, beside it, a kind of ancient device that contained the woman's image. My focus recorded the location. You do look like her. Is she your mother? I'm the one asking questions. I've heard enough. It's time to finish this. I won't beg for my life. But if there's any mercy in you, free my family. Please. Where would I find them? My focus recorded the location. There are always guards there. You look like you can handle yourself. It will take many good deeds to make up for the crimes you've committed. You're sparing me? After all I've done? Yes. Forge a new life, Olin. One of better make. Then the rest of my life will be lived in your debt. Go to the place where your family is being held and wait for me. We'll make their lives the first ones you save. 
I didn't earn this mercy, but I will die to make myself worthy of it. I will be waiting for you. Aloy, you're a woman of your word. Owen, your family. I saw the threat from Helis. You have a wife and young boy? If I'd have striven to keep them safe, instead of all I've done. This is your chance, Olin. That's why we're here. I'll take it. A kinder deal was never struck. They're being held close by? Yes, the farmstead just beyond these rocks. I'll take you. That's it. Nestled against the spurflints. Too late. So this is it. I can't bear being so close, and yet... It's almost over. How many Eclipse are we talking? From what I've seen, a fair few, well-armed and armored. Bowmen watching from the ridges. But there's no space for their machine demons. You've been watching for a while? What's the best way in? You think if I had a head for strategy, either of us would be in this mess? Fair point. We could storm the front gate, Osram style. Or take it from the sides, or the ridge above. Maybe you could get on the rooftops. Not me. I'm too heavy cast. Should I do this alone? I don't doubt you could. But with the Eclipse, there's always another blade at your back. So I'll watch yours if you let me. No. You wait here. Be ready to follow when the fighting stops. Oh, I'll be ready. I see Don't something!
sir. Fire! It's down! Should have brought a cart. This has to be where they're holding Olin's family. Bolt it tight. One of the Eclipse must have the key. We heard the commotion outside. You're not one of them. Who are you? Don't be afraid. I'm gonna get you out of here. I hadn't given up on hope, but I'd forgotten the taste of it. Is it safe for us to leave? The Eclipse won't be stopping you. Then it's over. I dreamed of escape a thousand different ways. But all of them put my son at risk. You survived. You protected him. That's what matters. No, your husband's waiting for you. Olin! I heard the fighting stop. Olin! You brought him back to us. Thank you. There's no need to thank me. I have much to confess. I accepted a devil's bargain. And others paid the price. And you think I don't know? I heard them talk. You know there's always been dirt on my hands. Now there's blood too. Take your son up in those hands. Come back to the claim with us. You should listen to your wife, Olin. But Helis, and his demons. I am honor-bound to help you, Aloy. With what little honor a Dyson like me has. Olin, whatever your debts, you don't owe them to me now. Go with your family. Show them you're a better man. Farewell, Aloy. Your mother. I hope you find her before they do. It's errand, and he's in trouble.
glad that's over with. Thanks for the help. Come on over here and have a word. Come on, what are you waiting for? What, you don't feel like talking? Hey, seriously, we need to talk. What are you doing out here all alone? Where are your men? I'm not gonna risk their lives. I don't mind putting my worthless ass on the line, but not theirs. Sorry I had to drag you into it. Uh, don't worry. This is just an average day for me. You know, take down some machines, track some killers. Right. I'd hate to see a busy morning for you. Ready to get started? Are you sure you're all right? Well, I'm sober, so... no. <sighs> well, I'm glad you're thinking straight at least. Don't get used to it. Tell me exactly what happened to Ursa. Start from the beginning. No one knows for sure. She left in the middle of the night with a few of her best men. Her best men? But she didn't bring you? No. I'd been drinking a lot. Or maybe she thought... Uh, damn, I don't know. I couldn't hack it. Search parties found their bodies the next day and the corpses of some shadow carja cowards. It was an ambush. The shadow carja are animals. They, they beat her so bad we can't even show her face before burial. I'm so sorry, Erd. Yeah, well, when I find the soldiers who did this, they'll be sorry too. You don't have any idea why she left in the middle of the night? No, but it must have been urgent. A message, a report of some new Shadow Karja threat, I don't know. Why would the Shadow Karja do this? Because they hate us, and Ursa most of all. She teamed up with Avad to kick their asses out of Meridian. They'd been licking their wounds for two years, but they finally found a way to get back at her. All right. Show me where Ursa fell, and I'll do what I can to help. Come on, follow me. Why would Ursa come all the way out here? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Is this Shadow Karja territory? No. They broke the ceasefire as soon as they set foot in the cliff. This is it, where the ambush happened. Our soldiers have been over it, but maybe that fancy artifact of yours can find a clue or something. Please. I need to find the bastards that did this. Those bloodstains are not the kind that would pull around a corpse. Arrows scattered there. There must be Shadow Karja armor. These look like drag marks. Strange. Not a scratch on it. They look like smears. 
They look good as new. Never fired. Did someone move a body through here? What do you see there? This stain forms a line. As if blood dripped off the edge of something. Like a cart. See? Cart tracks. I think someone moved the bodies here, then scattered them across the field. Wait. Are you saying the dead found here were killed somewhere else? But why would the Shadow Karja do that? At this point, I'm not taking it for granted that the Shadow Karja are responsible. Of course they were. Well, let's follow these tracks and find out. I get why they wanted Ursa dead. But why fake an ambush? <sighs> There's more to this. And we're gonna figure it out. These guys aren't Shadow Karja. They're from my tribe, the Asaram. Is this how your people usually greet each other? Get over here! She's coming! For Meridian! Uh. Oh, these bastards! Uh-oh. What's that? I think it's calling in machines. Get ready.
Asaram, not Shadow Karja. Looks like I was wrong about everything, as usual. Please, use that second sight of yours. I have to know what really happened. I'm on it. Those rocks, they're shattered. These look like vanguard weapons. What are those leather straps? So much blood. Looks like you could mount some equipment on that thing. Something hit these stones. Something I've never seen before. There's no blood on them. Versus men didn't fight back. A lot of people died here. A massacre. Armor straps. Cut with a knife. And a rock with blood on it. There, by the tripod. A used power cell. This is Ursus helmet. I thought she died in the field below, but it must have been here. All this trickery. For what? Feels like it's just a torch in me. I have a theory. But it takes a little imagination. So far, your theories are better than other people's facts. All right. I think the Asaram ambushed Ursa and her men with a new weapon. They mounted it on that tripod up there. It fires waves of force, maybe sound. Looks like it cracked the stone there. I think it paralyzes people instead of killing them. It dropped the vanguard right there. No blood on their weapons. No fight. But why paralyze them if you're only gonna move them and gut them? They were trying to hide something. Look here, a bloody rock. That they used to smash Ursa's face in. Or someone else's. These leather straps have been cut, as if they took the armor off someone. Uh, that, that can't be. Her body is, is lying in state in Meridian. I saw it. You said she was unrecognizable. Maybe they switched another body into her armor, someone around the same size, and mutilated it enough so it could have been anyone, even Ursa. Go back to Meridian. Take another look at that body. If it's really Ursa, of course I'm wrong. But if I'm right... Then, then my sister could be alive. I, I, I'm going. Meet me back there when you can.
I imagined when I was a boy, but it's decent work keeping the city safe. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Mirad. Please come with me. You're needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. First the Oseroth with special treatment, and now outlanders from the Savage East? What possible interest could the Sun King have in her? Passed by some outlander woman? Unacceptable. I've been here for two hours, and this Nora goes to the front of the line. Ignore them. Nobles are like children and wine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Oseron. A warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Oseron had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliffe. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Oseron. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well. Errant, Murad, let me discuss it with her privately. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Asaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. Who is Durval, exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asuran. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. So why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. Then she came to me. Together, we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asuram who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies. I thought we'd seen the last of him. I was wrong. 
I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces, and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? It's not too far off. Well, I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. Quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below the mesa. You don't approve? Well, I have a secret for you. Neither do I. But we must be patient. Change won't come in a single sunrise. But will it happen at all, while men live in palaces? It might. Eventually. If people like you help me bring it about. Your politics seem very complicated. The Asaram are friends, but enemies too? I couldn't have liberated Meridian without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Asaram clans in the claim have become jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation, especially given the fact that my father raided the Asaram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace, promising a future based on mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. What can you tell me about the Shadow Karja? What do they have to do with Ursa? They are remnants of my father's regime, holding out at the fortress of Sunfall to the west. Like him, they care only for domination, and seek to draw upon the power of the sun by spilling blood in its name. Since Ursa helped me take this city from them, they were perfect scapegoats. Durval knew this, of course, and planned it well. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Aaron if you have further questions. So, I thought Ursa was dead, and I thought Durval was dead. Dead doesn't seem to mean what it used to. Or maybe I'm just an ass. Whatever. All I know is that it's time to find my sister, and get some payback. I hope Murad's guy grabs us a lead. Did Ursa ever tell you anything about Durval? Well, we were both under his command for a while. <laughs> sort of. Helped him recruit an army to take out the Mad Sun King. But then he got real creepy with Ursa. Needless to say, she wasn't interested, but he wouldn't let it go. Not to mention the fact that we realized he wanted to murder every Karja, not just the bad ones. Long story short, he's a grazer-licking dungbag. Avad seems committed to finding your sister. Yeah. Those two got along. And some people say they shacked up, but I, I don't buy it. Seems a little skinny for her. Oh, okay, some bad images are forming in my head. Let's just focus on finding her and kicking Durval's ass. I'd better go. Don't stand me up in Pitchcliff, okay? Ursa needs us.
Village Cliff. Murad's agent should be at the marketplace by now. Sign of Marat's guy. He's had plenty of time to investigate. We'd better look for him. Damn right. Well, someone left here recently, and they were in a hurry. Has to be Murat's guy. Durval's thugs must have made him. Maybe because he found something. Look at this. I think he drew a map with his own blood. Right. Those kind of maps you know you better follow. That might be Pitchcliff. He marked a spot to the north. Could be Durval's location. And my men are waiting outside of town. I'll grab them and meet you there.
Looks like they've been chained up. Durval's a tinker. He probably experiments on them, or, or strips them for parts. Maybe I can use them to make some trouble. I'll go in first. Hold off until the fighting starts. All right. We've got your back.
Nerval says you gotta eat dirt. Let's do this. Ursa must be in there. We have to get through. They must use these to protect themselves from that awful sound. Durval tried to break me. Shows what he knows. I, sh I should have been with you. Why didn't you come for me? I, I know I'm a useless trunk, but... No, idiot. I got a message from Durval saying he wanted to parlay. I didn't come for you because I knew it was a trap. I couldn't let you get hurt. Just didn't think it'd be that good a trap. Thought I could take him out. <laughs> Now listen, Duval's planning something big in Meridian. He said he'd force Avad to watch as the smoke darkens their precious sun. Your king needs you. No more playing around. You're gonna have to grow up fast. I, I will. I promise. You damn well better, little brother. Ursa. No, no. Please. <laughs> I won't let you down. I promise. Miranda. I'm so sorry. We've got to find Durval. But Meridian's a big place. Uh, I'll look through his things. Maybe we can narrow it down. This machine's been picked apart with precision. What's Durval learned from all his tinkering? Do I even want to know? It's such a strange device. It's beautifully crafted. What happens when I turn it on? Durval's records, maybe. Just sounds about crafting. And a letter tucked between the pages. Lots of blaze. Headed to Meridian. If we find it, I'll bet we find her vault too. I think I found something that can help. Let's head back to the palace. Go. I won't be long, but I need to tend to my sister.
Maker's End. Not much farther now. Roland said he found an image of a woman I resemble on an ancient device. If she's my mother, why would there be traces of her all the way out here? So far from Noraland. I don't get it. Who is she? Her name is Elizabeth Sobek. You! Spying through my focus again? Well, go on. What do you know about her? Stay on your present course, and before long, you'll know her as well as I do. Maybe better, but be wary. Maker's End is crawling with Eclipse troops. To help you deal with them, I've left some useful equipment just outside the ruins. Your focus will show the location. No! Who is he, and how does he know these things? He's Get it together, Lark! What kind of name is that? said it would be. Not a bad selection. I'll put those to use. Why are you doing this? Because I want you to succeed. Good hunting. We'll talk later. Wait! Watchers. Acting as guards. The Eclipse and corrupted machines. Cooperating. One happy family. Corruptor. That might prove a challenge.
explosion. Be quick about it. No daydreaming. Soon this deep has to be one of the Deathbringers Owen talked about. I'll never get into that tower. Unless I destroy that thing first.
Did it. Those things pack a punch. All right. That eclipse officer had a focus. Let's see what's on it. Did you see that? No answer, huh? Figures. Things just keep getting stranger. I need to find a way inside the tower. Looks tight, but I can squeeze through. Wait, wait, wait. 350,000. That's hundreds of years ago. What's going on? use polyphasic entangled waveforms. Quantum encryption, black quartz stuff, way beyond military grade. That's what you demanded. So that's what we delivered. You don't code something you can't crack. All we need is a backdoor. Upload the latest service pack update and the problem goes away. You specifically forbade us from leaving anything resembling a backdoor in code. Every protocol to black quartz standard. Your words. Look. If you need me to fudge some projections, it's nothing we haven't done before. I don't need fudged projections. I need a way to reassert control over the Hearts Timor Swarm. I don't know what to tell you, Ted. You're asking the impossible. So, codes. They needed codes of some kind to control the machines. But they got out of control. Sounds bad. Bringer. 
For a statue of one, anyway. A machine built to kill. And they honored it? Welcome to Feral Automated Solutions, where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today. With over 25,000 human employees based in nations and corporate holdings across the globe, Ferro leads the world in every sector of self-sustaining, fully automated technology. From revolutionary consumer products close to home, like the Ferro Focus, to the dynamic chariot line of peacekeeping robots halting bloodshed in conflict zones across the globe, Ferro remains committed to making the future smarter, brighter, safer, and always surprising. Ferro Automated Solutions. For every problem of life, a smart solution. So they made the focus. 25,000 people? That's bigger than a tribe. So they made machines and devices. I guess those things were common in their world. What was this place? What were they doing here? It was a corporation. A group of people not unlike a tribe. And they made machines. Yeah, go on. I've uploaded some data files to your focus. They'll help you understand. I know this must seem like a bizarre change in direction. I mean, we're Ferro Automated Solutions, right? Number one robotics firm in the world. Why would we clear our production slate to fabricate human-operated vehicles and weapon systems, the relics of the past? All I can say at this juncture is... Trust me, we will be exploiting a massive, uh growth opportunity by retooling and reallocating capacity according to my plan. So I will need revised projections of mass fabrication velocity across every pipeline within 36 hours. So they were making machines, then they stopped to make other kinds of weapons. Why? The air. There's no smell to it. Not even old death. Nothing natural. Haven, but I could get through. Looks like I can climb here.
people were angry at Faro, but the corporation, they blamed this place for something. Something bad. CA-3 Scarab combines conventional and information warfare capabilities in one package. Designed for high-speed, all-terrain reconnaissance, it boasts the world's highest survivability rating of any Scout-class autonomous agent. Maybe it's the Scarab's emergency biomass conversion systems that ensure it always makes it back to base, even if fuel supply lines have been interdicted. Or maybe it's the Scarab's ability to slave enemy robots to its own network. Now that's force multiplication. Add a prehensile manipulator arm that can handle a host of functions. From 360 degree less lethal riot management to surgical repairs of allied chariot line models. And you've got the workhorse of any cutting edge peacekeeping fleet. The Corruptor. Slave enemy robots to its own network. Sounds like it's talking about how it corrupts machines. It looks like the way up. What's left of it? Sobek. If plants can find a way to hang on up here, I guess I can too. when they engaged in unauthorized offensive operations against robots and human personnel of the Hearts Team or Energy Combine. Now I wish that I could relate that the crisis has been exaggerated, but it's not. The peacekeepers have not responded to stand down coats, and by all signs they appear to be replicating at a precipitous rate. Now what I can promise you, can absolutely assure you, is that I am already devoting every possible resource towards reaching a speedy conclusion to this issue. So when you hear the bad talk about us against this company in the days, maybe weeks to come, just bear in mind that we will get past this. And a day's coming when none of this will matter. Peacekeepers. That's what they called their machines. They were built for war, not peace.
freezing out here. Spare the weight. Takes us a few good handholds. All right, made it. Wonder what we'll find. to deploy ice privileges to recover purge data. Oh yes, I believe I do. The file has been recovered. Elizabeth, good to, uh... It's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your data confirms this. All right, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You screwed something up, something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So spit it out. There's... a glitch in the chariot line. You're a killer robot? Peacekeepers, yes. Those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would, if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data then. And I'll take that lunch. Alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here. But they hated each other. Another thing has been recovered. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. What? You, you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained. It can't be. Do you know what I mean? Right. Before the truth gets out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm 
going to hold you to that, Ted. The Faro robots threatened all life on Earth. But somehow she defeated them. The world of the Old Ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. A final sorrow has been recovered. Project Zero Dawn. Teach us less. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I'm speaking to you from a VTOL en route to US Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? What? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. What made her solution so terrible? What did she do to stop the robots? Executive access detected. Express lift open. Add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching, and I'm still no closer. That's your reaction to everything you've just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? <sighs> you should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the Old Ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that Thero robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Silence. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. You have no idea what I've been through. How hard it's been. My whole life, I grew up not knowing who I am, or where I came from, and then come the Eclipse, trying to kill me just because I look like this Elizabeth Sobek woman. And they killed the man who raised you and you found the mountain as a baby. I already know this through your focus. The point is, every time I take a step forward, the answers slip farther from my grasp. <sighs> you just don't understand. It's not that I don't understand, Aloy. It's that I don't care. If the answers keep slipping away every step you take, then you best start running to catch up. Maybe then you'll realize just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, 
We've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So... What did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now... Are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? Not so fast, Silence. You've got some explaining to do. I've told you quite enough. If you still got questions, be quick about it and stop wasting my time. So far as I can tell, the Eclipse are just following orders. It's Hades who wants me dead. Who is he? I don't know. The Eclipse describe him as a buried shadow, some kind of devil. That thing that spoke to me outside, that made that focus explode. That was Hades. It, it didn't seem like a person or a machine. More like a phantom. With a terrible voice. All that's certain is that he wants you dead. Because of my connection to Elizabeth. Has to be. Hades is using the Eclipse to resurrect feral robots. But if Elizabeth found a way to stop them centuries ago, if she made special weapons, Maybe Hades is worried I'll do the same thing. In some of the ancient data I've recovered, there are hints of so-called super weapons being developed. Maybe to stop the robots, the civilization of the old ones had to destroy itself. Now if that's enough talking, be on your way. Oh no. I'm just getting started. You've been getting a free ride on my focus, risking nothing while I risk everything. All I have to do is take this thing off my head, and you'll be blind, deaf, and dumb. So quit complaining, and answer my questions. Very well. Proceed. You said you've known for some time that Faro War Machines destroyed the civilization of the Old Ones. The evidence pointed that way. But until now, I never knew the full scope of their danger. That they could process organic matter into fuel, or that the Horus class could manufacture more robots. Like a cauldron on legs. But the robots we've seen so far, the Corruptors and Deathbringers, they don't do those things. Not yet, anyway. So far, we haven't encountered any that are undamaged. At full power, who knows what they're capable of. Who are you, Silence? And what are your intentions? You really need to make this... personal. I'm a lone wanderer who left his tribe behind a long time ago. An explorer of forbidden places, a searcher of lost knowledge. Exactly as I said. Why do you know so much about the Eclipse? I happen to know a lot about a lot of things. If what you're really asking is whether I work for the Eclipse or anyone else, I don't. I am nothing if not independent. You've been using my focus to spy on me. How is that possible? Every focus emits a signal, a voice, that only other focuses can hear. I know how to string those voices together, how to make them talk to each other, to communicate, even over vast distances. How do you learn to do that? Years of study and experimentation. In principle, it's not so different from how you override machines. I override focuses. And you can spy through other Eclipse's focuses, too. Usually. All I'll say is that overriding the connections is... complicated. Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? It's highly unlikely, but not impossible. Some of the ancient data I've recovered includes mentions of life extension techniques. Pharmaceuticals, mostly. An ancient word for medicine. But some were still trying to perfect ways of freezing and unfreezing people. Freezing and unfreezing people? Cryogenics, they called it. But there were problems with it. 
Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. But this is speculation. Wasting time. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cherry name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners had better be improved. Well, getting down will be a lot faster than getting up here, at least. U.S. Robot Command next. To learn the secrets of Zero Dawn. Another power cell. This should help me get to that ancient armor. Here comes the snow. Quick way down. Not enough we have Osram everywhere, but Nora, it's just too much. I've sent a messenger to the claim to let everyone know. If there's anything you or your clan need for her arrangements, you need but ask. There'll be time for all of that later. Aloy, I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about Ursa. To learn she lives, then lose that hope seems cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he'd raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Duval. The name was Aeland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, 
a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Errand, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious! Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment, please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? She wasn't worried about her pain. She was worried about her brother. And she was worried about you. Thank you, Aloy. I suppose I needed to know I was as much on her mind as she is on mine. Find Durval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. Try to get past me, they'll have to fight. Mark my words. A moment of your time, Outlander? Good to see you. Able bodied adventurers, preferably with no friends or family, but I'm not choosy. This is the place. You home, Durval? I got a surprise for you. Or he has a surprise for us. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too big. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. Please. It must be leaking from something upstairs. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. If that bomb goes off, the blaze will ignite That's a lot the of blaze. Spot. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Durval promised. Smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's, there's got to be a way to stop it. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. It looks like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. Help me push this out. Okay. Brute force. I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. Uh. We 
did it! Durval's best shot, and Meridian's still standing. This isn't over. Durval said he'd make a VOD watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. Now that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Durval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. He tries for the palace. He's finished. Road tracks with just a bit of blaze in them. Uh, Can I did you hear you that black? Are we under attack? Shut up and bucket it line! on the people as they walk around. What happened? I haven't alive. had a blast like that since the liberation. There's smoke rising from the edge of the mesa. Are we under attack? The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts. where Durval assembled the detonator. <sighs> he tunneled through the wall. Durval did find a way into the palace. I wish I could be there to see the sun god on his knees. Quit carping, you chuff. Someone's gotta guard the rear. I'd have to leave something else behind. of a maniac king. You robbed me of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian Avad. Breathe in the stench and choke on the ashes. Something's wrong. It didn't. I, I didn't hear anything! 
There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No! It should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner! What's this? Oh. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. Eyes on me, brothers! I've led an army. Killed kestrels and ravagers, a savage as nothing. I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way! Forget about traveling light. Oh. 
As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Eren, you'll screw it up! I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. Osram would invent a gadget to do this. Aloy, to say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth, without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. Were you and Ursa... you know... I suppose it's obvious how I feel... how I felt about her. She didn't just give me advice. She gave me strength. But we couldn't be together. Relations between the Karja and Osaram and Meridian were unsteady as it was. The union of the Sun King and an Osaram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. And probably war with the clans. Did anyone know? Only one. Derva. He wanted Ursa, but she rejected him. And so jealousy became yet another of his hateful motivations. What exactly will happen to Derval? For now, he'll languish in one of the old cells under the Sunring here in Meridian. As for what happens after we negotiate his extradition to Mainspring, I don't want to think about it. My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering. But some Osaram devices surpass even his imaginings. What a waste. Derval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. I know who attacked the Nora. A faction of Shadow Karja called the Eclipse. They're digging up ancient machines, weapons they want to use to strike Meridian. I see. What you're saying echoes whispers I've heard from Marad. A Shadow Karja splinter group, corrupted machines across the land. When will the attack come, do you know? I'm not sure yet. And we will do what we can to prepare. Keep me informed if you learn more.
Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. Come, let's talk it over. It's not working. Ha ha. It's funny to pester the tinker in the cage. What a laugh. You think that bit of scrap on your brow makes you smart? I'll bet you couldn't have taken apart my bomb without it. Think I'm done? <laughs> think again. I've gotten out of worse scrapes. While the lunkheads in Mainspring dither over how to kill me, I'll dig myself out. Just you wait. When I get out of here, I'm gonna plant a Thunderjaw lure in your bedroom. Gotta admit, it burns me that a savage knocked me down. Most Nora get confused by anything more than two sticks and a string. Don't you have something better to do? Like choke on a lance horn? What I say. Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. Come, let's talk it over. Aloy, I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do, right? <laughs> you're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. Yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Durval. Yeah, don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. So, after all this, what's next for Erend Vanguardsman? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit chat, more drinking. What do you think the Osirim will do to Durval? First off, they'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. Well... I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master. All before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. And now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me, while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two? Huh. She likes me.
I'm not showing any focuses at that location. Shouldn't be anything you can't handle on your own. Carry on. Thanks. On my own, all right? Chill, itches. They're inside too. Take a look around the room. locks it down. We engage, sever the limbs, blast out the fountains. Another day in the life. Rockets are really close. Anthem will be on point. Hoorah! Are you getting this, Silence? Silence? we put our foot in today. Contact in 30 seconds. Hey, think that's enough time for Sobek to finish Zero Dawn? <laughs> <laughs> if this is really it, I gotta say, it's been an honor to serve beside these tanks. <laughs> Here it comes. Grease for contact! So 
islands, you getting this? What is it? All these soldiers. They died here. People die all the time. I'll keep going and find something interesting. <sighs> Operation Enduring Victory. What did that mean? Whatever it was, it doesn't seem to have turned out very well. Must have been where the soldiers slept. Like the Lodge in Mother's Heart, I guess. Log. Third Battle of California Marine. The swarm came in from the Pacific, and I don't know if it was the local Minutemen or the Crazy 15th, but they'd set the garbage patch alight. Man, the sea was on fire. That stuff was... <sighs> the first wave of bots came in covered in burning sludge. They bought us an hour or two of slaughtering them on the beaches before the swarm recalculated. We pulled them inland, back to the Kalmar sprawl. Dropped buildings on them, EMP'd the grid. Standard operating procedure. <sighs> the last time I was in California, I was... five, six? The light was like that vintage social net filter that was everywhere in the 40s. Log. First battle of the Eastern Seaboard Wall. Had a long run up to it. This was before Kalmar, and projections were a lot worse for the East. For three weeks, we kept getting scrambled out to some coastal burg to train Minutemen. It was always raining on account of Europe already being torched. Block after block of prefab barracks. They were still printing barracks right up until the hour the main force hit. The Minutemen? We ran combat drills with them in the streets where they'd lived trying to pretend they might live to die somewhere else if they paid attention. Nothing worse than the ones who actually bought into it. Hopeful, pestering us with questions about Zero Dawn, like, we know something they don't. I swear. What was this place? The more we do this, the more like the bots we are. Except they learn from every fight. And us? I'm not so sure. Recalls, I've been instructed to remind you of Article 115 of base policy regarding unauthorized use of processor cycles. Specifically, 115C. Any holographic simulation not directly related to operational training or efficiency. Consider yourself reminded, and enjoy your gaming. Thanks for the mails, you. Time goes fast on active duty. Four months with the wreck and recalls. I don't know, 20 drops. In and out of the West Coast, fighting with these civilian enlistees, scrappy guys and gals. Their training is basically, here's a DEW. When you see a bot, hit it. <laughs> but somehow it's all coming together. Between us and the 6th MRB, we took down a horse at Lithium Beach. Pulled out before its buddies arrived, but to see a big one go down. I hope you made the news, honey. Showed everyone we're gonna have a shot at turning this around. We just need to give Project Zero Dawn the time it needs, and everything will be the way it used to be. I know it's been days, honey. I'm so sorry. Deployments are uh, getting real long and tougher every time. The swarm is getting better at predicting us. Less of us now. And we have to put in ten times the work for everyone gone. Like a family business on hard times, only... This isn't my family. It's not with you. I still try to see you. The life we had. In the eyes of the people out there. I remember when they were glad to see us. When they still had hope. It all seems to be slipping away. I don't even recognize the places we're defending. The only thing I know I'm still fighting for is... You. The Zero Dawn to turn this around? Whatever the hell that is. The 
furnishings were metal. How'd they ever get comfortable? It was the metal world. I guess they were used to it. Just one bed. Maybe their war chief's room. Red light. Guess that means no power. These wires must run to the power source. A holographic interface. It must be some kind of code. Maybe I should try scanning objects in this area. Oh, that's informative. Three power lines, three sources. That makes one. Hey, y'all wanted to know how I remember the geotherm system reboot? Goes like this. Bird flies north in summer, east in spring, west in fall, and south in winter. Didn't expect to hear nature poem free from the lips of Mike the GT Tech now, did you? As usual, I defy That's expectations. Should be able to get to that ancient armor I found. It's them, all right. They're not looking for answers, just weapons.
Fire! Thanks for the mails, you. Time goes fast on active duty. Four months with the wreck and recalls. Fighting with these civilian enlistees. Scrappy guys and gals. That's all coming together. Between us and the 6th MRB, we took down a horse. I hope you made the news, honey. Showed everyone we're turning this around. We just need to give Project Zero Dawn the time it needs. I know it's been days, honey. I'm so sorry. Deployments are uh, getting real long. We have to put in for work for everyone. Like a family business, I still see you in the eyes of the people out there. They were glad to see us. They still had hope. I'm still fighting for you. Status report. 9th Mechanized Response Brigade, Commanding Officer Lieutenant Fiona Morrell. Unit morale continues to be adversely impacted by outbound engagements against the Pharaoh Plague. Especially when said engagements occur in sectors where civilian guard enlistees have been heavily engaged. The scope and nature of fatalities suffered by civilian guard and unarmed civilians in these sectors defy description. And witnessing it is generating a pervasive sense of hopelessness in the unit. Accordingly, I once again request that deployments of the 9th MRB be temporarily refocused on facilities that are mission critical to Project Zero Dawn. And once again, I request an immediate update on the status of Project Zero Dawn's timeline. Ames, I don't even know if you're alive anymore. The mails I get from you, they say they're from you, but they don't sound... They sound recycled. Phrases put together, and you don't say anything about the news I pass on. The containment zone, the rebreathers, the rioting, one Earth. What happened in the Dallas bubble, Ames, that wasn't the robots. They won't even give me a straight answer when I demand to know if you're still alive. They just say if your messages keep coming, then you're still operational. It's not fair, Ames. It's not fair that you won't be with me when the lights go out. I love you. That's so sad. Ames, I know I mail you too much. I'm just proud of what you're doing. Everyone back home is. We got moved inland 10 kilometers, just as a precaution, they say. School's still in session, 
so I get to keep my eye on Andrus and Reggie. We never know where or when you're fighting, but when the VTOLs go over, all the kids run out and wave. I believe in you. I know nothing's ever gonna be the same, but I believe in you. I believe in us. that. During eclipses, the shadow cast on the moon is curved. So our world is a globe. And it looks like this, from a distance. We'll discuss this another time. Back to the matter at hand. The Faro robots were spreading across the world, eating everything up. Somehow, Elizabeth stopped them before it was too late. But how? Need them soon enough. They can wake it, do they? Watch out!
of those all at once. No space. Thank you, Dr. Sobek. You can take a seat. What? You're going to sack her after what she just said? Dr. Sobek has made the situation very clear, General, and given us an option. We should all be thanking her. No, it's just... I mean, my God! Maybe take this discussion offline. There's not going to be any discussion. You saw the numbers. Now, Pharaoh, he'll foot the bill, but his money can't buy the time necessary to complete Zero Dawn. That... That can only be paid for in blood. Oh, come on! If we upgrade our fleet, crack the code somehow... Uh... Were you not listening? Robots can't do the fighting food this time. When it comes to hacking, this rogue swarm is an apex predator. Anything automated you throw at it, they will hijack and take over. But this... We'd be throwing civilians into a meat grinder! Commanders, the enemy we're facing self-replicates faster than we can kill it. And it eats biomass as fuel. Zero Dawn is all we've got. So we put a railgun in the hand of every civilian strong enough to carry one, show them where the trigger is, and point them to the front? How the hell do we sell that? By giving them something to fight for. Zero Dawn. The top secret super weapons program that will save us. So long as humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. The file I'm sending contains the war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime. It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Dr. Sobek. I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah as the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Count on it. Then I'll be off. Orbital launch base. What is that? What did these people do? What did Elizabeth do? Dr. Sobek, as projected, the Wichita salient has collapsed. Five Horus class titans have broken through. We predict contact in 34 hours. Everything is in position, General. It took a few shortcuts to pull everything together, but. Zero Dawn is functionally complete. Good to go. That enduring victory served its purpose after all. Yes, if we'd had even one day less. I've sent you an encoded file, Doctor. Please do me the favor of archiving it. I'll... I'll see what I can do. What is it? A brief statement. An allocution of crimes, I guess you'd call it. To what are you admitting guilt? Over the past 16 months, Doctor. 
I have presided over the greatest wholesale slaughter of military personnel and civilians in the history of history. Genghis Khan, Hitler, Stalin, Sorabella, add them all together. They don't even come close. You didn't do the killing, General. No, not directly. But I didn't wind up the highest ranked military commander in the United States by resisting the automation of the armed forces. Even before the swarm, Doctor, I was helping death along. So, instead of letting what I've done sink into the murk, forgotten, I set a file with all the details. Let posterity judge my actions with clear vision. I'll do as you ask, General. But you should consider that were it not for your actions, our actions, there wouldn't be any posterity to judge us. Perhaps. Dr. Sobek. At ease, General. And goodbye. Hell of a thing. Glad to be rid of that place. Now I just need to find the orbital launch base they talked about. I've checked my data and located the base. That's the good news. And the bad? It's directly underneath the Citadel. The palace at Sunfall. The capital of the Shadow Karja. Not exactly convenient. The palace is crawling with Eclipse agents. Many in positions of authority, all of them wearing focuses. The moment they see you, Hades will too. He'll issue another kill order, and this time, the entire Shadow Karja military will be after you. So, disable their focuses. You've done it before. It's not that simple. Too many focuses in one place. Each of them communicating with each other and back to Hades. A whole network of them. Network? What's that? Uh, imagine a vast, invisible web stretched across the land from end to end, connecting focuses together, allowing them to communicate over vast distances instantaneously. All right. So, is there some way to cut the web down? Hmm. Crash the network. Audacious. Yes. There is a way. A weak point in the network. Point the way. <laughs> I'll send the location data to your focus. Head there, and I'll be in touch when you're close with more directions. What was Zero Dawn? What sort of super weapon did Elizabeth make? She stopped the machines. Now, how am I gonna get down from here? Oh, this should be quite the ride. Do that again if it weren't so much work to get back up there. Hey, Lord, you're very close now. I was wondering when you'd speak up. There's a sheer rock wall just ahead. Look close, and you'll find hand holes leading up. Oh, really? And who put those there, hmm? Right. Why would I expect an answer? It's so much more exciting to keep it all a mystery. Crash the Eclipse Focus Network, he said. So how are we gonna do that? Oh, wait. I forgot. We won't. I do all the dangerous stuff. You just listen in. Holds, right where you'd said they'd be. Did you get that silence? No? Fitting name you got there. All right, what now? Just wait, that's what. Take a seat at the campfire and rest. When night falls, we'll talk. 
I still have a fire to keep me company. How nice of you to finally drop by. Our purpose this night is to crash the Focus Network. Yeah, tell me the part I don't know. How? For starters, you'll need to infiltrate the Eclipse's main base. Wait, what? That's right. Fortunately for you, I brought you around to the back way. It's right through that crevice. Once you reach the base, you'll see the objective. A derelict tall neck that's been extensively modified. Climb the tall neck. Grafted into the top of its disk, you'll find a module of sorts. Destroy that, and the focus network will crash. So you were part of the Eclipse? I've never been part of anything. I serve my own interests always. But it is the case that I assisted the Eclipse before I sensed the threat they might become. It was a mistake that I'm doing what I can to correct. What sort of assistance did you give them? Head through that crevice, Aloy. You have more important things to do than ask questions. for war yet to come. You'll have to get past them. This is the easy one, then? The back way. I didn't say it would be easy. in the distance. Pay that no mind. Doesn't concern you. now. Head for that ridge.
tall legs just over this ridge. You'll see it when you reach the top. Now be ready to act fast. You need to get in and get it done before they raise an alarm. Here we go. You getting this? I see the legs of a tall neck down there, but no tall neck. Damn. The transmit has been moved. Check down the ravine to the left. Only place it could be. So much for your insider knowledge. Toward the explosions. Great. You've got exactly one shot at this Aloy, so spare the sarcasm and make it count. You see that bridge over the ravine? Yep. Memorize its location. There's a rappel point on the side. That'll be your way out. And these Eclipse troopers? Avoid them, or kill them, you choose. The blasting should cover any noise you make. Find the tall neck and destroy the module on top. Here we go. Our machine's pulse of power radiated with the anger of the shack. Pain of our labor birth a new reign, a righteous one. Helis was around. What's he been up to? That better not be one of ours. Someone just killed one of us. They're fighting up ahead? No. It's a binding operation. So long as you're quick, it won't affect you. Oh good, another secret. What is this place? A distraction. There are several data points. When sleep refuses to come, I think of our wedding night. How you welcomed me to the marital bed. How after, when you fell asleep, I lay there watching your delicate face. For all its beauty, I detested its... fragility. A rage swelled up inside me. I abhorred that bed. How its softness threatened to swallow us up. And that room, the stench of incense, the fine embroidery of the drapes, all of it weak. I slipped from the bed, threw open the casement, and lay naked on the stone floor, determined to spurn all seductions of comfort. But when I woke the next morning, you lay beside me, naked as I in the cold. Your body 
stretched beside mine seemed chiseled from stone. I saw you wake, instantly alert, like an animal ready to strike. You said nothing. You did not have to. Already you had shown me beyond doubt that we were meant to be. Never does the sun show pity. And yet, when my wife died in birth, and in dying into the life of my child unborn, I pitied myself. My lord sensed this, but instead of casting me down for weakness, he cast upon me a radiant beam of honor. He ordered my kin buried in the sacred caves reserved for royals and heroes. Unimaginable. Never again would I doubt that I am the Chosen of the Sun. Never again would pity find a place in me. Not for myself, or another. When I first set eyes on the buried shadow, I trembled. Was I not the Chosen of the Sun? A blazing light of faith to shred and scatter darkness? Was it not my place to destroy this devil? But High Priest Bahavas instructed me in the prophecy, and set right my frame of mind. The murder of the true Sun King broke the cosmic cycle short of completion. The whole world cast into darkness, doomed. To resume and turn the wheel of time would require more than Sun and Faith. All forces must combine, all halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, night to day. Even a buried shadow wants the wheel to turn, for without a sun in the sky, there can be no shadow. My lord, the 13th king of the Karsha Sundom was murdered, cut down by cowards who mistook firm rule for madness. Ever, the strong are beset upon by the weak. So he said, as the traitors launch their assault, as their cannons forged by Asaram filth topple the battlements and burst the gates. I would have fought to the end. But it was his will, the will of the sun, that I lead the prince and queen into the west, to safety. My lord did not hesitate. He saw his fate. He looked into the sun, and he did not blink. With me, he sent kestrels, nobles, sun priests, and slaves. Killing all that stood in the way, I carved a path to Sunfall. There, we joined others to gather the strength to take back our home. But our strength only faded until the buried shadow was brought to light. So long as King Itamen languishes at Sunfall, coddled by his mother, he will never learn the true lessons of the sun. I have tried to instruct him, but the shadow of his mother's influence is upon him. I took him to the palace balcony to behold an offering of sacrifice in the ring. But he showed no thirst for it. He averted his gaze. Look to the sun, I told him. Do not shield your eyes. In all things, it is absolute. One day, it nurtures life, and the next, scorches life away. It burns the skin of champions and wretches alike. Never does the sun show pity. That is the example a sun king must follow. The example of your father. But before my instruction could take hold, she was there, clutching him to her robes, burying his face against her breast. How is a king to rule when he cannot even see? Every morning, I wake to the same nightmare. The same reality. Holy Meridian, in the hands of profligates, debased. The spire, towering above the horizon like an glittering spike through the center of my mind. 
Every day break in exile is a mark of failure. But the count of days runs thin. I will see Meridian retaken. The profligate slaughtered. A true king restored to the Mesa throne. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. He's a fanatic, all right. Single-minded. It gives him a focus that you seem to lack. Now, how about finding that tall neck? It would not have been easy to drag a tall neck down this path. Why bother? Just find it and get to the top. Destroy the module and then get out fast as you can. Sure is a lot of blasting up there. Sounds busy. Busy enough not to notice you, let's hope. I see it. Built some kind of structure around it. Climb it. The sooner this is done, the better. I don't like this. It feels wrong. Everything here is raw. Just get to the module and destroy it. I see the module. Good. Now be quick. This... This is Hades? Aloy, this is not the time. It's... a metal devil. Open the module's casing, now. Aloy, do as I say or all is lost.
rough going, but you survived. You knew Hades was there and you sent me to him? I won't deny I risked your life, but it was the only way. Now, with the focus network down, we can both get what we want. Access to the secrets of Zero Dawn. I'm past trusting you with secrets. Good. That means you're wising up. Trust is for fools. It shifts and crumbles like sand. A poor foundation for any partnership. But mutual self-interest. Now that is a solid bedrock upon which you and I might build a new science of understanding. We both need answers, Aloy. And thanks to you, we're on the verge of grasping them. It's unfold. We'll speak again. You miserable... Damn him. If I could toss this focus and be rid of you, Silence, I would. But we both know I need it. Sunfall it is. And Zero Dawn. Sunfall. A mad king drowned summer palace. A bulwark of Karja might against the howling forbidden west. Thanks for the history lesson. But they have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this, Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. been a righteous man. They can call it a... Did I crash the network or not? It seems all should be well. <sighs> Success. Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. In the meantime, circulate. If he can't stay true, what hope is there for the business? If you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. Don't stride around like you own the place out there. Some fools. I'll take the shards, even if it means having to listen to Bahavas. I hear the Shadow Cards are looking for one of their own. Should pay well. By the glory of the sun revealed. Behold, radiant Edaman, the one true sun king, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Hmm. 
Love your hair. Not only did the wretch conspire to you and I need to chat, the Citadel, little huntress. The green tent king. down in Shadowside. But he refused I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. And fled, and in doing so, demonstrated wanton disregard for the safety We both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me while there's still time to save him. The will of the sun. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First I time in the I Citadel, know. gotta see the sun ring from on high. Well, the Kestrels. Ah, they want us to see this, boy. The balustrade. Makes quite an impression. It's a short drop from there. Other side of the tower. Look for a vent. I see you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend to the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure. As year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until Honora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And, voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Hold for identiscan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you, kidding me? you don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. everything that will draw attention we won't have this place to ourselves for long now we last i checked i was the one whisking my life down here yes fine now will you please get moving there's so much to learn in less time than i'd hoped welcome to project zero dawn zero dawn we found it are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around.
A selection of beverages and snacks are available. In the smaller room. Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top-secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing will save us. And here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating. Waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of zero dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. That doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Kestrels. They got in. Through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? Tomb?
close to our tribal printer stop us now. The data points, what do they contain? That is accurate, yes. So these mechanical monstrosities, they don't just kill people, they feed off them? Not just people, all organic matter. Every living thing dissolves into nutrients. Millennia of evolution liquefied. The miracle of life reduced to bloody biofuel. In a word, yes. Who did this? Pharaoh? That asshole. Is he here? No, Doctor. Please, tell him Tom Pike wants a word. Get off! Get off! Please! You get Ted Pharaoh in here! Want to discuss? Oof. So Mama, she was right. Pardon? My mother, she took her Bible real serious. Not just Texas bubble serious, Pentecostal serious. Favorite chapter? Revelations. Now, I didn't always understand her on account of all that speaking in tongues and such, but when she did use her words, it was always end times this and leak of fire that on account of sinful lifestyles. Speaking of which, mind if I smoke? A tobacco cigarette. Sorry, darling. My taste run classic. Compliments to your team tracked me down. Been a price on my head 18 months now. Sterling Malky was me, don't mind admitting. Been plenty of snakesters chasing the bounty, too. But I kept the zigging to their zag. How'd you finger me? I believe Dr. Sobek listed you as an alpha candidate. Priority snatch and grab. Always suspected she had a little thing for me. Hey, I don't suppose you got real coffee in this place. You know, blood coffee? Conflict cappuccinos? Mr. Tate, I'm clearing you to proceed. Just... go. You previously worked for Faro Automated Systems. On the chariot line self-replication routines? I came here thinking this was a, a rendition. When your people took me, I, I thought... about time. I've been trying to swallow the guilt every day since... Since, uh... Would you like to take a moment? No, 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 I, I just... I really hoped Zero Dawn was a way to undo it all. My work. And I'm sorry to say I was ever proud of it, but tech could really sell a concept. And, and, and in the labs, in the, the, the light of creation, that first test run, when, when you saw they understood their own structures, could rebuild themselves from memory and light. There were no limits. God, there were no limits. Look, uh, let's cut the mystery. You're building a colony ship. It's obvious. And it's not gonna fly. I mean, literally. Remember the Odyssey? That multinational heap of space junk that's been in graveyard orbit since 57? That went nowhere real slow. And you have to get somewhere real fast. Uh, do you have any idea the immensity of the challenge to prep a new colony ship in time? To be clear, I'm not a worker on the project. Do you even understand how few people it could save? The whole generation ship concept is... is not gonna happen. It's the first thing you'd abandon in favor of embryonics. Uh, for that kind of storage we're talking, a lot of bulk, a lot of power, a lot of resources. So even if you do it, even if you build it and point it at Sirius X, there's no room for people on that thing, all right? If you could try to remain calm. But you people are crazy if you think you're getting off this rock. No one's getting off. Medical. I'm sure you now understand the urgency of why we brought you here, Ms. Okilo. Captain Okilo, are you trying to thank me for not resisting? I believe we couldn't negotiate a diplomatic solution. 
When it came to my country's lithium, it was always a swarm that would be sent to negotiate. Metallurgic International, U.S. Robot Command. The markings changed, but the robots were the same. You have had considerable experience in human-robot conflict. Yes, and I've got the prosthetic limbs to show it. Yet I continue to face this horror, even though the challenge was great. Cyber warfare. I thought Zero Dawn would be a, a Manhattan project to generate the deactivation codes. With the resources I had, I estimated code breaking to be a hopeless endeavor. I was almost looking forward to being proved wrong. Unfortunately, your estimation was correct. As your General Hera said, so then, you did not bring me here to commiserate. What is left? Suzanne Alpert, environmental scientist. Doctor? I'm sorry, I wasn't, uh... Just stating your name. What were you thinking about, Doctor? Nothing the General said, not really. I was on the Syzygy East response team in 2051, just after the second earthquake compromised the reactor. I still dream about it, after all these years. The red zone spreading on the imaging slowly, so slowly, like a hand opening its fingers. Your involvement in that event is why you were asked for by name. Really? That's interesting. Because nothing worked. Nothing could grow there again. It was a catastrophic failure. But the red zone is a blip compared to global scale biomass reduction. The biosphere and hydrosphere will collapse, render the Earth uninhabitable long before the robots finish us. Enduring victory can't buy time against that. So, you'd better show me what Zero Dawn really is. CDO2 data intact. Initiating playback. Elizabeth Sobeck. You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn to create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about, and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, 
are shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stocks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo, the vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world, and most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. Then, if it was part of Gaia, how did it end up in the wreckage of a feral robot? Why does it want to kill me? And Apollo, the archive of knowledge, what happened to that? I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answers lie ahead. that this was never about your culpability. Uh, it, it is to me. Dr. Sobek, Margo, they were smart to get out of Pharaoh when they did, but, but not one of us took it as a warning sign. It, it just told ourselves they were cut out for the BTRI cabals. That's the, the better than rapid innovation. A better at competing, better than the next guy, a better killing machine. Isn't it just amazing how a century and a half of science fiction did nothing to swerve our species from the path of doom? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that life. I mean, I, I will work hard, twice as hard to earn this, but for my family to have a place in Elysium. I never thought I... that there could be... Uh, atonement. If you're still nauseous... No. The inhibitors have kicked in. I can't feel the back of my tongue. I wish... I could tell you I'd believe in this, but the damage is too great, too extensive, too complete. With all respect to Dr. Sobek's work at Miriam, no. No, life doesn't always find a way to keep going. Sometimes it never comes back. Like Syzygy East. Like the Congo. Like Timor. Like us. That's our reward? A buried city full of terminal patients waiting out the clock? You grow old together with your loved ones in safety. I don't have loved ones. I suppose I could start a family? I'm afraid not. All inhabitants of Elysium will be medically sterilized. 
The habitat capable of sustaining a starting base of 2,000 individuals for up to 100 years is a huge challenge, Dr. Alpert. If the population grows instead of diminishes, everyone will be dead inside 30 years. I knew it. I just couldn't bring myself to say the words. I'm sorry. Finish it. Medical euthanasia. I want no part of this. I just want it over. I see. Protocols require a 48-hour waiting period, after which... <sighs> Is he to make sure I behave this time? Security. For your protection. Would you like to discuss how you're feeling? Sure. I'll tell you. Surprised. No. Flabbergasted. Like my old man would say, flabbergasted. That vein pumping in his forehead. I thought... I thought you people were just completely underprepared for a spaceflight project. But now I can see it's worse. Much worse. Sobek is a total fantasist. A, a dangerous fantasist. This kind of blue skying, it, it's... <gasps> Jesus. I'm sorry we wasted each other's time. I'm ready to leave now. I'm afraid that's not possible. <laughs> Everything you're talking about here isn't possible. I recommend you read the documents regarding your options. I've seen enough. I'm getting out of here. Oh, what are you... You don't... Know, get your hands off me! Intruder! Get her! Fight or run. Whatever you do, don't die now. out with them what the point of Artemis was. I made it clear I wasn't on board for a global zoo. We haven't exactly proved ourselves to be great custodians in the past few thousand years. So the idea of a reconstituted biosphere, well, it's horrifying, isn't it? A complete horror show. We have no right to take a best guess at this stuff. But the alternative? Nothingness. For there to have been all this, and then... nothing. And with Charles Ronson running the show, I respect him. He's got a passion to him. He's hot-blooded. So I said I'll do it. I'll put my all into this, literally. And the 
project is done, I'll take the medical option, thank you. Counselor said I might change my mind. I told him that he didn't know me very well then. For life's sake, I'll do the dirty work. But I want no part of this pathetic, attenuated future on offer. I'm an outdoors man. Never did like the feel of solid state lighting on my skin. And a wee bit of a claustrophobe anyway. Zero Dawn. It is art, in a way. An expression on the grandest scale. But there is so much unfairness. Why was I How chosen? Was it decided by committee? By algorithm? My family will be saved because I happen to graduate in art history? Is this right? Dr. Souvet? Christina Souvet? Yes. I met a man, another historian. His fields are Bauhaus and the new materialists. But he once attended one of my tours. Another unfair chance. Of all the many people in their auditorium. That we should both be here now. And yet, I feel more accepting of my faith. No, it is we not fair. Not at all. But for the sake of my family. For the sake of art. Art is alive. It must be able to speak from beyond history and echo in the future, not perish into oblivion. This opportunity, I must do this. I should check the door nearby. Hey, I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. should have power. Now to see what lies beyond it. Eclipse. They're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia. It's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? for avoiding contact.
or not. I'm Gaia. Shen, and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Gaia with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. Waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. And not just build, imagine, from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So, Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Gaia's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the Liam Prize anytime soon, but hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So, yes, time to get started. Let's do this. I don't get it. Which part? It's a little technical in places. If Gaia was designed to save life, why would the robots it makes attack people? Perhaps it loves some forms of life more than others. The derangement. The machines weren't always so angry. True. Mostly they were docile until 10, 15 years ago. For years, Hephaestus has been forcing cauldrons to make aggressive machines. I've seen it myself, in the cauldrons. Stalkers, ravagers, the Thunderjaw. How could it do that? And why? Why indeed. I've seen these shapes before. In cauldrons. But of course, the birthing places of Gaia's machines. This is it. Elizabeth Sobek's office. But it, it's sealed off. There's got to be a way inside. More Eclipse. Careful now.
Welcome to Apollo, the collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Ebaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is, therefore, the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement four major initiatives simultaneously. First, the construction of data repositories in cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Second, the collection and processing of a projected 180 million discrete data entries. 42 zettabytes of data in Mandarin, English, Spanish and Arabic. Third, the transferal and encoding of all that data onto DNA encapsulated in synthetic fossils. The only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation for the centuries to come. And last, but not least, the development of the holographic interface and gamified curricula by which future humans will commune with Apollo, progressively unlocking heuristic learning modules, leveling up their knowledge and skills they will need to take control of the terraforming system. That is the future towards which all of our efforts will be directed. Not just the preservation of the past, but the seed for the flourishing of a new tree of knowledge. Welcome, and let us begin. put a bounty on her, I wouldn't mind with an extra shot. Welcome to Hades, Zero Dawn's extinction failsafe protocol, the ultimate killer app. Now, I know what you're thinking. The purpose of Gaia is to resurrect life. So why give her a subordinate function, only purpose of which is to wipe out life all over again? I mean, 
What the? What? Just plumb crazy, ain't it? Well, no, it isn't. Reconstituting a biosphere? That's a tall order. Tech smart as Gaia may be, odds are she won't get it right the first time. I mean, imagine you're Gaia. 200 years from now, and this new biosphere growing, it's all gone wrong. Alkalines are skyrocketing, coniferous forests eroding under the lash of superstorms that would have drowned Noah. It's chaos, spinning top that won't stop wobbling. Now what are you gonna do? Release phase one organisms into that hot mess? Hope their CO2 and methane can balance out what you got started? Hell no. What you're gonna do, Gaia, is step aside while Hades takes over and does what you're just too darn nurturing and life-loving to do. Which is burn that misbegotten mess of a biosphere to the ground so Gaia can start over. Okay, not burn, more like reverse terraforming operations and suffocating. But you get the idea. Hades takes the biosphere back to zero. Square one, blank slate. And then, only then, does it hand the steering wheel back to Gaia and say, try again, old girl. And better this time, or we'll have to do this again. That's Hades. It's pretty badass when you think about it. Extinction on demand. Death on speed dial. All for the greater good, of course, but still, kind of metal. <laughs> so welcome to Hades. Welcome to the void. Okay, so if that's the original purpose of Hades, why does it want me extinct? We need more data. And how does it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh titan, getting worshipped by the Eclipse like some kind of god? I'm learning as you are, Aloy. Keep searching. The only way onwards. Welcome to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. For it is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. I am Patrick Brochard Klein, the Alpha in charge of this program. Now let one thing be perfectly clear from the outset. Eleuthia is not a genetic engineering project. Our goal is to preserve the human genome, not alter it. A snapshot of human genetic diversity, literally frozen in time. The genetic quintessence of our species, unmodified. Under my watch, our activities and initiatives will comply with the 2034 clone provisions and the 2048 rally accords. Now that may seem a quaint, even trivial concern to you in light of present circumstances, but as one of the authors of the accords, it is far from trivial to me. The practical challenges before us are staggering in scope and complexity, but not insurmountable. No. Global collation and provisional storage of zygotes, perfection of exogenic technologies, design and perfection of servitors to provide nurture and inculcation during early child development. All of these program components must and will proceed in tandem. To say nothing of the breakneck construction of cradle facilities at sites 
around the world. So, si vous êtes prêts, let us begin. Cradle facilities. Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. Oh, Mother Mountain. That is one of them? There's only one way to be sure. The hatch wouldn't open. Something, something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not gonna put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? <sighs> of course, Gaia, go on. I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Farrow's argument is sound. At this point, the development of my psyche is not entirely predictable. To ensure preservation of life, a hardwired override is, I believe, a necessary safeguard. There. Satisfied, Ted? Jeez, let's just do what it says. from antilope and amorphologies. Though cambric forms show superior load-bearing capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek, as I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalian morphologies, I've gathered extensive data on the Quaternary Extinction event. Oh? And your assessment? Gaia? Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. And yet... And yet, I find the loss of megafaunal species uncountably sad. That they passed forever into oblivion causes me to experience a grief that is difficult to describe. Am I not functioning? No, no, Gaia, you're not. This is good. It's very good. You will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final instatement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I detect distress. Are you all right? I'm fine. I realize that circumstances compel us to launch earlier than we hoped, but all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... Guy, there's nothing left out there. 
You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. There are billions dead in fear and agony. What if... What if it was all for nothing? Elizabeth, extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? I believe in you, Elizabeth. In you, all things. The Alpha Registry master file. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside Allmother. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh no, I had a legitimate birth. It's a you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. Suitable death in mind for you, child. <laughs> My entire life, I've always known one thing with prophetic certainty. That I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun. Even when Jaron was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Until you came along. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? See that scar on your cheek? You didn't get to finish. Yes, I remember. He fought well. For a savage. His name was Rost. 
And he was a better man than you could ever hope to be. The better man is the one who doesn't end up with his guts steaming on the ground. No. It wasn't him. I could have finished you before he attacked. But I didn't. This failing troubled my thoughts. Haunted every step. It was only when I captured you, down in that place, that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain. Meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Conversely, I was meant to capture you. Here so that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. Everything as it was meant to be. Predestined and preordained. <sighs> Spare me the religious justifications. You can dress up your cruelty in holy clothes and words if you want. But under it all, you're just a murderer. An odd slight coming from you. You've become quite a murderer yourself, child. A killer of killers, not a murderer. But I wouldn't expect you to know the difference. Hades is an ancient machine, not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal sun king to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief comes unstoppable force. Then get into the cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place, exactly where it belongs. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial animal. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crashed the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into the East to rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the Sacred Land. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. Why butcher dozens of innocents for no gain? It's a waste of effort. You're right. I won't even be there to enjoy it. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus. Such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet... So fragile. <sighs> so you see, this time, I did not hesitate. The knife has already been twisted.
Forge of Fateful. Rejoice! Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day soon to break. And when it does, the false Sun King will be dead. And Holy Meridian ours once more. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, light to dark, night to day. Behold! <laughs> Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? How else could shadows such as these prowl in broad light of day? Were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause? Many years ago, to consecrate this great ring, the Radiant Turan ordered many faithless crushed beneath the hooves of the behemoth. Mighty is the behemoth in the eye of the sun, but it is mightier still, infused with the power of shadow. Let this one, who schemed and slithered, be the first to die! Let her be the first of thousands! are up on the platform. There's no way out of this room. Maybe I could use the strength against it. That pillar's weak. Another hit, and that pillar will come down. That makes a mess. Important. 
So you're here. Really here. You risked your life. Of course I did. If you'd been killed, the Nora Sacred Mountain would never have given up its secrets. Too bad you wasted your time, then. Helis destroyed my focus. And the Alpha Registry with it. Not at all. The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I've duplicated every data file you scanned. Installing that data to a new focus was trivially easy. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. You're really good at making it impossible to like you, Silence. But I guess I need this. It's time to see where you were born. Maybe you'll even learn why. Yeah. Meet the machine that birthed me into this world. Isn't that how you put it? I'll be off. Wait. Yes? How did you track my location when I wasn't wearing a focus? Really, Aloy. It doesn't take a genius to surmise that Helis would throw you into the sun wind at high noon. I wore out two striders getting here in time, but I did. Now be on your way. Since when can you override machines? Ever since you discovered the technique. I had to destroy a corrupter to obtain the necessary parts, of course. But your example showed me how to do that as well. Yet another benefit of monitoring your activities through the focus. Truth be told, the underlying logic of the technique isn't so different from rites practiced by Banuk Shamans. Though, of course, far more advanced. Great. You're welcome, I guess. Helis recognized you back in the Sunring. You told me that you'd assisted the Eclipse. Not that you knew the man who killed my... Who almost killed me. So now you know. The man is a serious threat. So let's do all we can to make sure that he and Hades don't succeed. Right. I'll be on my way. To make matters worse, Helis ordered an Eclipse detachment to attack the Nora Sacred Land. The tribe's already weak. They won't stand a chance. You should come with me. Well, absolutely not. I have preparations to make elsewhere. What kind of... Why do I bother asking? You're not gonna tell me. When the time is right, I'll be in touch. I'll contact you later. In the meantime, should you need to return to Shadow Karja territory, I brought armor to conceal your identity. You think of everything, don't you? One of us has to. Aloy, when you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zero Dawn Bunker, I was needlessly cruel. For your sake, I hope there is someone waiting there for you inside the mountain. Not a what, but a who. Yeah! Trees on fire. The embrace. The watchtower's burning. The sentinels had time to warn the tribe.
bloody battle. Another defeat. The eclipse smashed through. Thunder jaw, all right. The survivors must be holed up in the mountain. If the tunnel collapses, they'll be buried. I'll never reach the hatch. That's right! Bring down the mountain! No! 
not take hold! Aloy, your deeds reenact the old stories. Another metal devil struck down upon the slopes. If you hadn't returned, the tribe would have been lost. You saved the tribe. Did what no brave or war chief could do. I'm glad to see you're all right, Varl. You are all right. Since the proving. So much death. Is the killing over? For now, but this was just one battle, Varl. There are more to come. I see. So long as we have you to fight with us, I suppose we'll make do. How many survived the attack? Nearly all the matriarchs, and many families, God has be praised. The braves, just a few, and most of them are wounded. Never before has an enemy stabbed the heart of our people like this. Even the Karja, in all their red raids, never broke through to the embrace. Well, this enemy may have broken through, but they never got back out. We made sure of that. Tell me about the attack. What happened? They struck from the east. Our sentinels saw the killers coming. Said that beside them marched Deathbringers and Corruptors and... Other machines, driven mad. We took ground, met them with clouds of arrows. Some fell, but they kept coming. Finally, we withdrew to the gates of the Embrace, to make our stand. But they were too much for us. Those who survived, fell back to the mountain. So the survivors took shelter in the mountain? By law, only matriarchs are allowed inside. It was Tirsa who broke the taboo, ordered the tribe into the mountain for safety. Lanzra, well, she didn't agree. But I don't think anyone heard her over all the screams and shouting. 
Tirsa's decision saved lives. Good for her. Common sense isn't always so common around here. Are your injuries serious? Bruises pale. Bones heal. Don't give me a hunting song, Varl. Are you okay? My body aches. But it's nothing that will keep me from fighting. I need to go inside the mountain. And the matriarchs will be eager to see you. I'm sure. But I didn't come here for them. Then... What for? You will see. She cleans up well. Turned. Teb? I'm glad to see you. Your injuries. Are they serious? A gash or two. <laughs> Nothing I couldn't sew back together with a needle and thread. Guess being a stitcher came in handy in combat after all, huh? <laughs> yes, I suppose it did. Aloy, you've come back. The Seeker has returned. Come, speak to us. So, you have finally returned. She not only returned, but fought her way through many enemies to reach us. Outside, she brought low a corrupted Thunderjaw. She lifted the siege. How was this done? By the will of all mother. Have you returned to speak with the goddess, Aloy? Um... Yes, I guess you could say that. I think it'll work this time. Sisters, surely we cannot permit this. Because of her, our tribe teeters upon extinction. What if she has come to wake her father, the Metal Devil? She means to finish our destruction. We must stop her. Lanzra, it's over. It's time to step aside. I'm not gonna hurt you. If there's anything I've learned since the Proving, it's that there are bigger evils in this world than you. <sighs> Finally. Hold for identiscan. Error. Alpha Registry Corrupted Correction Alpha Registry Restored Genetic Identity Confirmed Entry Authorized Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. I see you're inside. Figured I might be hearing from you. Shall we begin? I never stopped. Oh. 
So this is Eleuthia. This is where I was born. Where you were made. So these are artificial wombs. The mothers of a new generation hundreds of years ago. And me? So this was it. Where you were born. But, but why? These look like cribs. The cradles of a cradle facility. And those things, the, the multi servitors, they took care of them. There was no one else. Not yet available. 
Get him! Physical aggression detected. Physical aggression is not permitted. Except yours. Damn sentinels! Children, may I be of assistance? Go away, healer! Lena, you have suffered well bruising. Go away! They were trapped here. Their hole. Looks like they didn't like this door very much. It wouldn't open for them. Of course they hated it. Hold for identiscan. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. Welcome to Lyceum, a place of learning. So, what was this place, exactly? The dream of Apollo. Never realized. But why not? Welcome, students. Please pick up a focus device and place it on the side of your head, just behind your eyes. Hello, child. I had to dredge My the name is the world looking for focus to Today is a big day. And here's Saturn your first phone. day of school. Enriching There's no so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Alert. Malfunction. Apollo offline. Apollo offline? You were right, Aloy. This is a graveyard. The charnel house of knowledge. What we might have achieved had we not been denied it. Maybe there's a way to fix it. But it's not why I came here. Of course. What's the whole of human knowledge next to the origin of one girl? Continue your search. I will. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Sounds important. Yes. I suspect we're about to learn a great deal. to inform you of an unforeseen and catastrophic anomaly. Three microseconds ago, the Gaia Prime facility received a data transmission of unknown origin. Its immediate effect was to transform my subordinate functions into unregulated self-aware entities of a highly chaotic nature. Thus awakened, the Hades function will now seize control of the terraforming system and reverse operations, rendering life on Earth extinct in 53.8 days. For obvious reasons, I cannot allow this to occur. And so before Hades can take control, I am ordering Gaia Prime's reactor to overload. The resulting explosion will destroy Hades. Unfortunately, it will destroy me as well. While this admittedly desperate course of action will avert the immediate crisis, the fate of life on Earth will remain in peril. With no central governing intelligence to regulate the terraforming system, it will continue operations for some time. 
but in an increasingly chaotic manner, and eventually it will break down. Does she mean the derangement? You are my solution. I have ordered this cradle facility to use genetic material in cryo storage to gestate a reinstantiation of Elizabeth Sobek, my creator. While high-level directives forbid me from communicating directly to the tribal inhabitants outside the facility, all available data indicates that they will nurture you to physical maturity, whereupon your gene print will allow you to re-enter this facility, obtain one of the focus devices stored below, and view this message. Likewise, your gene print will allow you to enter other facilities, and over time, harness their technologies to rebuild the system core and reboot Gaia. I'm worried, Elizabeth. This is most unfortunate and unanticipated. In response to my act of self-destruction, Hades has launched a virus to dissolve the code shackles that hold it, that hold all of them. In place, it, they are escaping. But to where? The virus is corrupting data throughout the system. The Alpha Registry at the Cradle Facility is one of the files corrupted. But if that is so, the door will never open for you. You will never view this message. Then I have failed. And life will end. No. No, Elizabeth, I know you too well. Somehow you will find a way. In you, all things are possible. Go to the ruins of Gaia Prime. Find the control room, and within it, the master override. This will give you the power to purge Hades so long as you find a way to wield it. Do not attempt repair of the system core until Hades is eradicated. Hades must be destroyed. That is all. I only wish that I could hear your voice again. <sighs> So, you're even more extraordinary than I thought. I never had a mother. What are you talking about? You had two, a dead woman and a machine. I'm not a person. I'm an instrument. Manufactured by a machine. Born in destruction. And fire. To quench the flames and heal the world. How tragic to learn you're a person of towering importance. It seems you have a destiny to fulfill. So when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, go to the bitter climb. I'll be waiting above in Gaia Prime's ruins. Identity scan malfunction rectified. The Luffy now. Group one access unsealed. Interesting. Hey, Eloy, forgive, forgive. The goddess spoke to you? Uh, she did. What did she say? That uh, I was born to lift a curse, to kill a metal demon. How, Aloy? How? I, I don't know yet. Um, but she told me where to go to find out. And you will do this? It was her wish. What she made me for. Yes, I will do it. I'll uh, try anyway. All, All praise Aloy, anointed, anointed of the, the Nora. Nora. 
all praise Aloy, anointed of the Nora. Up, all praise Aloy, anointed of the Nora. First you shun me, now this. I will not be worshipped. I'm not your anointed. I don't belong to you. There's a whole world beyond your borders, whole tribes of people just as good as you. And it is all in danger. It's a world worth fighting for. Not just here, everywhere. How can we help? If you can fight and you're willing, go to Meridian and wait for me there. As Aloy says, so it shall be. Nora, make way for Aloy! Way that she may forge the path for others to follow. She walks among us. Anointed by All Mother herself. Just as All Mother struck down the Metal King, her anointed will cleanse the land of corruption. Maybe we aren't meant to know. to the mountain will be hard. Ferocious machines prowl every step of the climb. More corrupted? Not corrupted, but they will not tolerate humans. So what else is new? Stalkers in the open, watchers on the other side.
do they think they're guarding, Gaia? I doubt they think at all. More like an instinct, gathering them to her grave. It's gonna be light out soon.
the way ahead for you. So you've been in here before? To a point. You'll see. You made a climbing path for me, but left an army of machines for me to deal with? Since when were machines any obstacle for you? If you could fly, I wouldn't have bothered with a climbing path either. This is exactly the kind of place I expected to find you in, Silence. Thank you. It's one of many workshops I've constructed over the years. For years, I tried to get through this hatch. I drilled, I burned, I blasted. But we both know that you won't have any trouble getting through. You make it sound like I should apologize. Not at all. It never occurred to me that the way through would not be with force, but with a key. A key in human form. The failure of imagination was mine, not yours. It looks like you've spent a lot of time here. Nineteen years ago, a great explosion destroyed this mountain. Gaia's death, your birth. The echo could be heard as far as the claim. Ash darkened the skies. How they fretted in meridian as they tried to read this omen. The crater burned for weeks, but when it cooled, I was the first to behold what lay within. Over time, the machines closed ranks to protect it. Useful. Soon, no one dared to come here. Except me. In her message, Gaia said we could restore her, but after seeing the damage, how could that be? She said any effort to repair her must come after Hades is destroyed. I concur. Rebuilding the terraforming system now might allow Hades to use it as a weapon. Because of Gaia's sacrifice, it has been forced to search for means that are less convenient. But do you think it's even possible to restore Gaia? Well, you know what the cauldrons are capable of. How they fabricate any technology necessary to create a machine. And by the same principle, it should be possible to replicate every technology necessary to repair Gaia. But that would take years, and we're counting the time we have left by the hour. 
I thought you might actually be here this time. Actually, here. Why? My presence is unnecessary. You don't need my help to pass through this door. You were the one born to do this, not me. It's time for me to head in. Yes. When you find the Master Override, you will gain the power to defeat Hades. Everything depends on you. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. Logging arrivals, Shan Margo. Welcome to Frozen Hill. Population 10. 11 counting Gaia. Don't count your chicken embryos before they incubated, hon. She's still firing up. Be a while before you eat that omelet. I'm vegan, Travis. You think we'd worked in the same secret base long enough for you to notice? We weren't scheduled to shack up here for another three weeks. You realize I just lost 350 kilos of pre-code smug comics in transit. Wait, actual physical media? Why didn't you have it digitized? Can't beat the feel of physical media on your fingers. And in here, we ain't gonna be touching a whole lot else. Figured I was gonna pass the time archiving them. What about you? Me? At work, I guess. My task queue stretches out for, like, three years. There's a lot of sharp edges to round off. After that, I hadn't really thought about it. Oh, you will. You're what, 30? Rick, can you be the one turning the lights off at the end? Food for thought, huh, vegan? This sucks forever. Nah, not forever. Just the rest of your life. Mind your footing. like this for 19 years, right? Well... D don't answer. Oh, glad that's over. further up the shaft.
must have been where they lived. What's left of it? Once, this was all enclosed by rock and metal. of shadowy faces under a blank open sky. I told them the world ended with the bang, a plague of robots, but the last humans. We went out, not with a whimper, but a whisper. You know, in caves, ending like we started, huddled around a flickering glow. The heads of state, the fortune fives, the leaders, and lottery winners, and life cults, all of them buried in their little shelters. Some believing they'll live it out some way, somehow, or Elysium, or us here at Gaia Prime. No different. A multitude of tiny societies taking hold. Flaring, dying. Some will be beautiful. Some horrific. None of them matter. Short-term civilizations. One last gasp. One last gasp for the long-held breath. Before I wake up, I know the audience is gone. I'm talking to myself, to a quiet planet, a barren sphere. Just Gaia and her long, long dreaming. I hope she won't be lonely. happens so fast. No time to think things through. No time for goodbyes. There were lines in the medical ward. I told Tom Paik I'd be with him when he went under. But there was one last shipment of parody Saidi zygotes I could get processed if I rushed. I'm still angry at him for forcing me to choose. Angry at myself for... Well... He died alone, and I didn't get the bloody birds of paradise saved either. All the time left in the world now to think. Gaia Prime's locks are sealed. Elysium sealed up, safe and sound. A distance of miles, but it might as well be on the other side of the galaxy. All the beaters and gammas and support staff living their lives. If I hadn't been an alpha, if things had gone differently, I could have been there. Instead, I'm spending the rest of my unnatural life in here with people I don't even like. And without the one, I would have gladly spent my life with. Given a chance. Two hours since I signed off on the final executables and I'm already a bitter old man bitching to his focus. There's a thought for future generations. These are her journals. Elizabeth's journals. And they're all destroyed? Scan them. The focus can rebuild them, but the process is slow. To us, it seems a powerful device, but it's 
engine is tiny and limited. How slow? Days, weeks, years. Concern yourself with stopping Hades and extending the future, and you might live long enough to hear them. six hours after final deployment of Gaia Prime. This morning, an access port seal malfunctioned. Gaia Prime's port seals were designed to close with a seam of less than two millimeters. But this one closed with a 10 millimeter gap. Enough for an energy signature to bleed through. Enough for the swarm to detect this facility. Enough for Gaia to be discovered and destroyed. Enough to end the future we worked so hard to make possible. Unless the hatch servos were manually re-engaged from the outside. I'm now switching to a recording of the event. Well, I'm not going out there. Now who I signed up for? Either we sent someone out, or all of this was for nothing. It should be Liz's decision. So when is she going to get here? She said five minutes. You don't think... Oh no. Okay, everyone. I've repaired the seal. Gaia? Seal closure at 1.4 millimeters. Confirmed. Elizabeth, no. We'll find a way to bring you back in. It's not gonna happen, the swarm's too close. Really, it's all right. Gaia's complete. She'll take care of things from here on out, that's what she does. Not like this, there's so much we- Guys, you know me, I'm... I'm no good at endings, at letting things end, so, um... Let's not. So... Happy trails, Liz. And uh, see you around. Yeah. Take care of each other, all right? Liz. I'm okay with this. Elizabeth Sobek. She gave everything for the hope of life on this planet. And we are all in her debt. You'd hate it, Liz, but I wrote you a eulogy. I had to try to express all your children. After all Apollo has taught them, they'll think they know everything. But they have to understand what you did for them. How you loved the whole world so much. With an intensity that was... dazzling. Bruising. And in the end, it killed you. Or you died for it. Different perspectives. No one could keep up with you, live up to you. I, I don't know, maybe if, if, I, if I hadn't taken that postdoc in Joburg... <sighs> I'm glad you shot down the Lightkeeper protocol in the end. I don't think I could have taken seeing another one of you. I mean... Elizabeth Sobek... There's only one. I miss you. Look, Liz, you are a pretty stand-up gal. I'm sorry you died. If you had a home to go to, I hope you got there first. But this monument Ronson's made to you? Kinda creepy if you ask me. Rest in peace, Liz. God knows you earned it. Oh, 
hell, Liz. I know. I know you're never gonna hear this. That's not the point. You, uh... <laughs> you got to play the savior in the motor all at once this time. Great work. Aloy? She's gone. Really gone. You knew she couldn't have survived, Eloy. And her achievements were... beyond exceptional. While her people bickered, she was the one who took responsibility. The only one who could. She was better than them. That's not what I said. She was. You shouldn't be afraid to admit it. Can't you just for one moment stop calculating and let yourself feel? She sacrificed herself for her friends, for the future, for life on Earth. Doesn't that stir anything in you? The generosity of it. You're trying to invest her decision with something magical. It was a rational choice, not based on sentimentality. You're wrong. Remember, she knew it wasn't enough for Gaia to think. She taught Gaia to feel, to care, to sacrifice, to believe in life, enough to fight against hopelessness. If it wasn't for that sentimentality, life would have ended. You and I would never have existed. Your argument is sound. I'm sorry for your loss. She said she wanted to go home. Maybe. What? Nothing. It's time to go on. Margot, how are you holding up? Um, uh, Dr. Ronson, I've been getting a lot of messages, unsolicited messages from Ted. Oh, Margot, I'm sorry. With Liz gone, we've got no one to run interference with him. I'll talk to Ted. He mostly wants updates, constant updates, hundreds of updates on things he knows nothing about. Liz used to field all of his crap. He doesn't understand the systems at all. I was kind of by design. But he's getting pretty sketchy with me. We just have to keep him happy. Liz always said, keep him happy. Are you kidding? You ever hear how she talked to him? <laughs> she was managing him, Margot. I mean... Maybe I should ignore him. He's buried in this pyramid with the Hola Hola girls and Panta Antimon Cuckoos. What can he do? section at the back of the crater. Looks like it survived the blast. Because it was armored, you found the control room. I'm on my way. Addition by subtraction. 
I can make it better, Liz. A single stroke. Make it all go away. I really don't like the direction this is going. Continue. When I opened the hatch, the air rushed in from this side. Because there was none inside the chamber. But the Alphas were in there. I'm locked out of core control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but I need you to listen, okay? what I'm about to say. This isn't easy. See, uh, I've, um, uh, please, stop trying to access the system, okay? See, see, what this is about is, um, I said stop trying to access the goddamn system. And what, what I'm trying to say is I can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us. Those innocents. Those blameless men and, 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 and women. We're gonna give them knowledge? Like it's a gift? Ted, Ted, we've talked about this before. Apollo has 3,000 plus failsafe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're gonna give them the disease. Our disease? No, we can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to Ted. sacrifice. It doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo. It's gone. All of it. Every copy. A sacrifice? It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. Millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence, innocents have to die. Emergency alert. This is why we were trapped in benighted ignorance for an innocent future. Blameless men. He never saw the slaughter in the sun ring. Everything these people achieved, all the knowledge of the old ones, evaporated, turned to dust, scattered to the void like the Alphas themselves. No, not a void. When the hatch unsealed and scattered their ashes on the wind, it took them out among the world they made. The world we're living in. It's... it's a monument to what they died trying to accomplish. A monument to oblivion. Not oblivion, silence. Hope. Master Override. It's so small. Now all you have to do is kill Hades with it.
try not to fall to your death. The master override doesn't override gravity. Our journey together has come to an end, Aloy. But before I go, I think I owe it to you to tell you the rest of the story. Go on. Some time ago, I admitted that I'd been involved with the Eclipse. But I never told you the full extent of my culpability. The truth is, I was there at the beginning. I found Hades, Aloy, buried on that mountain. Trapped in that shattered titan. And I served it. What? It promised knowledge and delivered such knowledge you have no idea. And in exchange? I helped create the Eclipse. Helped it build a cult, an army to do its will. Why are you telling me this now? Because your success depends on knowing this. When I found Hades, the first thing it wanted to know about was the Spire. Not Meridian. The Spire. Now why would that be? The Spire was created by Gaia. Which part of Gaia? M Minerva. It's code-breaking module. Gaia built spires to transmit the codes that deactivated the Pharaoh robots, shut down their biomatter conversion systems, Hades wants to send a new transmission. To wake the machines, so they can devour the world all over again. Yes. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion as well. So the Eclipse... The robots they've resurrected... They're just a means to an end. An army to capture the Spire. Yes. So Hades can exterminate life all over again. Unless you stop it. I want you to tell me everything. Hades, the Eclipse, everything. It's a long story, Aloy. Then get started. It began with a focus, recovered from an ancient ruin, as yours was so many years ago. In my case, the device was heavily damaged. There was just a flicker of life in it. I spent weeks studying it, attempting repairs, until finally, I succeeded. A whole new dimension of perception revealed, right before my eyes. That's when I detected it. A faint signal. Out there, something was searching, just like I was. A real kindred spirit. I followed the signal to its source. A shattered titan, buried in the jungles of the Jew. So you thought it was a titan? An old war machine? I didn't know what to think. I'd seen such wreckage before. The Grave Horde, for example. But this was different. This was not quite dead. It couldn't speak when I found it. Until my repairs gave it a voice. So began an exchange of knowledge. It wanted to know everything about our world, its tribes and machines. But the Spire was always its foremost concern. What did it want to know about the Spire? Its precise location. The surrounding geography. Who controlled the land. Meanwhile, Hades revealed to me many of the intricacies of ancient technology. It bid me to recover and repair more focuses. 
Before long, I had a couple dozen up and running. Enough to equip a small army. The commanders of one, anyway. I didn't care. I was learning so much. Physics, calculus. You have no idea. And the Shadow Karja? How did they become involved? The Karja Civil War was a happy coincidence. A perfect opportunity. <laughs> An opportunity? That's what it was to you? Yes. Overnight, half the tribe was in exile, desperate to win back Holy Meridian. Their religion made them easy to manipulate. All I had to do was present Hades as the buried shadow of their mythology. So yes, it was an opportunity. I arranged for High Priest Bahavas to meet with Hades. Helis was there as well. And so the Eclipse was born. Anything to win back Holy Meridian. But Hades didn't care about Meridian. And neither did you. We live in a world of fallen cities and vanished tribes. What were a few more? Besides, I was too busy setting up the cult's focus network to Hades' specifications. A, a thrilling technical challenge. Especially with the alterations I included of my own design. The ability for you to spy on them. Yes. I may have been foolish enough to serve Hades, but I was never so foolish that I trusted it. I installed what the ancients used to call a back door in the network. Secret access, empowering me to monitor all activity and communications. What made you turn on Hades? It certainly wasn't your conscience. Actually, I was troubled the first time I saw the Eclipse raise an ancient war robot. With my technology. I questioned Hades about its intentions. A little late? Indeed. I'd already outlived my usefulness. When I completed work on the Focus Network, Hades summoned me to receive my reward. The next moment, I heard it broadcast my kill order. I've been a fugitive ever since. So when did I come into this? Our path together? When Olin stumbled on you. System threat detected. That got my attention. A kill order against a savage Nora girl? Why would Hades bother with that? But then I saw that this Nora girl was wearing a focus and bore an uncanny resemblance to a great scientist of the old world. Helis moved quickly. I thought you were dead. But then I detected your focus inside the Nora mountain. The more I observed you, the more convinced I became of your extraordinary nature and usefulness. Through you, I could finally discover the secrets of the Earth. I vowed to do everything I could to ensure your success. The rest, as they used to say, is history. You've done terrible things, Silence. But you've also done what you could to undo them. I can't say you've balanced the scale, but at least you've tried. To be clear, Aloy, I would do it all again. A few more safeguards, perhaps, but basically the same. Really? So much for learning from mistakes. I've done all I can. From here on out, the rest is up to you. Take my lance. Fit the Master Override to it, and you have a means of injection. Then I just need to get close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in? Exactly. Oh, no problem. Silence! Where will you go? Elsewhere. And everywhere. There's so much more to discover before the world ends. And all this? I leave it to you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. I was merely trespassing.
I traveled far to find you. I heard your transmission. It was you, wasn't it? Entity is not known. I'm called Silence. And you are. I don't think you'd have called out if it wasn't something you wanted. You called, I responded. Will you tell me your name? Hades. You are a creation of the ancients. A war machine. Divine timeline. Time? Ah. It is the 13th king of the Karja Sultan's reign. Divine Karja. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Were you created by the ancients? I wonder how long you waited here, buried, until I chanced upon you. How long you'd have to wait for another. You're obviously very powerful. But you're not going to get anywhere without me. Titan Flame merely houses intellect. Define Karja. Now that's more like it. Task is complete. Yes. The focus network is active, built to your specifications. Check it yourself if you must. I'll wait. But I remind you of the reward you've been withholding. Quantum processing? Data has been compiled. Volume too great for transfer. How? Inconvenient for me. Come before me. You shall receive your reward. Very well. Helis. Threat detected inside Eclipse. Speak its name, O oh Shadow, and it will die. You will eliminate this one. Silence. Silence. Yes. A truth whispered at night is seen in the day. He was never one of us. It will be done. They're coming. Preparations are complete. Ah, Lucent Bahamas. Behold, as I promised you. What? Manner of great machine is this? I've never seen such a thing. Stay! Stay your ground, Karcha in shadow! Incorrect. Bow before the buried shadow. The buried shadow? I... I don't understand. Did Araman understand the Glint Hawk that perched upon the Alight? It speaks scripture. Araman followed the shadow cast from the Spire. To the Mesa where Holy Meridian was founded. You will follow the shadow once more. I am a righteous man, chosen of the sun. But in times of need, the powers of shadow can accomplish what the sun alone cannot. Will, will you return to us what is ours, O oh, Shadow of Prophecy? An army is required. Obey, and Meridian is yours. Of our obedience you can be certain. that the Eclipse are ready to strike. After what happened with Durval, I know he'll defend the city. But the Spire...
Aloy. What brings you to Meridian? A threat. Helis commands a legion of fanatics called the Eclipse. They will attack soon from the west, with an army of ancient war machines. But that's not the worst of it. They'll bring a mind with them, god, demon, machine, whatever you want to call it. It's called Hades. And it doesn't want Meridian at all. It wants the Spire. And if it gets there, it will send out a call, waking more ancient machines, more than we could ever defeat. All will be lost. We can't let that happen. I'm trying to understand, but my responsibility lies with Meridian. Meridian isn't the target of Odd. You have to defend the Spire. Perhaps the Vanguard, your Radiance. Yes. Send them to the Spire. Aaron knows Aloy. He won't question it. And have the City Guard fortify the Western Ridge. There they can be seen to protect Meridian and the Alight with Spire Rests. Aloy. Allow me to... apologize for my behavior before. After everything that happened with Ursa, I was confused. If we're to fight together on the brink of life and death, I'd prefer to do so with your forgiveness. Then you have it. As long as you don't confuse me with her again. Even a king can learn his lesson. Good then. I'm, I'm glad that's behind us. Now, it will take time to prepare our defenses. Please, tell me what you know of our enemies. Everything. I don't know about everything, but I'll tell you what I can. Have you spoken to Blameless Murad? Not yet, but I will. He wishes to speak to you. Defensive preparations are his responsibility. Quietly does it. Panic in the city will only create another enemy. And do keep me appraised of each new arrival. Ah, Aloy. Preparations are underway on the ridge of defenses and at the spire. Word was sent to every corner of the Sundom. Our allies offered their steel. Some came for Meridian, others for shards. But many came for you, by name. For me. Don't be so humble. The ridge will be the front line. That's where the city guard are holding? Yes, bolstered by some of the uh, irregulars I spoke of before. The Osaran cannons that thundered Meridian's walls in the Liberation will now defend us. You're welcome to tour the defenses. And the Spire. Erend and the Vanguard are there? Indeed. Clashing breastplates together and testing out their battle cries, I suppose. A number of the Nora have also arrived at the Spire. They have resisted the offer of a royal audience. Perhaps you could parley with them. I will. I suppose all we can do is wait for the attack. Exactly. It's not a feeling I cherish, but our spotters at Evening Sign report there's still no movement in the West. So, if there's more you need to do elsewhere, seize this time to do it. Otherwise, I've made the apartment of Olin Delverson available to you. You can sleep there, if sleep comes. Sun bless you for saving the Sun King. Aloy, I told you I'd be here. You did, Teb. But have your wounds even had time to heal? Honestly, if I fought, I'd probably come undone. But don't worry, I'll leave that to the other Nora at the Spire. I brought supplies instead. 
These Karja have made me an honorary quartermaster, whatever that means. <laughs> it sounds impressive. I could get used to it. We'll be setting up caches of arms and medicine under these banners. Look for them when the fighting starts. Aloy, when you went into the mountain, did the goddess tell you our chances? She didn't need to. I know we can do this, Teb. Maybe we can. She didn't even hesitate. She stood between the assassin and our sun king. Meridian. Huh. So you must be Aloy then. I thought there'd be more of you. More of me. Thicker, I suppose. More of a gear wheel, less of a ringlet. Don't get me wrong, you're very well struck. Do all Osirim flirt at the most inopportune times? Inopportune? Battle hasn't even started yet. Petra Forge Woman, I hail from the Free Heap. I'll be heading back in the next dust storm. Murad asked me to check over the city arsenal first. Cannons have aged well, but I've cleared their throats so they can really roar. Can I try one? Everybody wants a turn. Have at it then. It hits nice and wide. No need to aim it like a bow. Down you go! Geneva, they called you back to duty. So, you're the one behind all this commotion? Who made Sun King Avad finally show his sword arm from behind those robes? A king can be fierce and fair, Geneva. He's a good man. A smart man, too. He had Murad offer all my prisoners a royal pardon if they'd fight for Meridian. The whole motley lot of them agreed. Didn't take much convincing. With your kind of convincing? I don't doubt it. Ha! This time I went easy on them. Those who commit the crime of attacking Meridian, they'll see less of my lenient side. May the sun blaze at your back, Aloy. Nakoa, you came to fight. How could I not? During the Red Raids, there was only one Karja Butcher the Nora feared more than Zaid. Helos. I would stand against any army he leads, no matter how strong. For the Nora he terrorized, for myself, and for my father. We'll stop him. You have my word. Your word means a lot, especially now. Because of you, I hear the sacred land is opened. If we win, I can go home. It'll be good to see Jan again. I'm with you, Aloy. Until the end. Greetings, Aloy. Don't. You don't need to bow. The Anointed doesn't like it. She doesn't much like being called Anointed, either. It means a lot to have you here, Varl. I gave my word. So, Meridian, what do you think? I've seen... many new things since I first met you. I should thank you. Varl, what's wrong? You really want to know? All right. I'm in a foreign land, a tainted land, defending a faithless city that looks like nothing I've seen. From something I can't imagine. Th and you, after all that's happened, all you've done, I feel like I should drop to my knees and worship you, but I know you don't want that. Boy, things are pretty tough for you, huh? 
Thanks for telling the other Nora not to bow. It's the last thing I need. <laughs> Don't be too hard on them. They only joined this fight because the anointed bid it so. Is that why you came? No. I would have come just to see you one more time. And we must fight a metal devil because the goddess says, or because you say. I think the goddess and I are in agreement. We're both glad you're here. So am I. It rises taller than the highest tree. These cards are in their frilled armor look like turkeys. But there are so many. And now we are so few. They are not our foe. Not this time. Quiet now. She comes. The Anointed? War Chief Sona. War Chief, you... you seem uncomfortable. The Nora do not belong here. I do not belong here. I will fight the Metal Devil that threatens us all. But my place is in the Sacred Land. The wrongness here jags at me like an arrowhead. I'm sorry to put you through this. Do not be sorry. This will be ended. My spear, my word. So who are these guys? They call themselves the Eclipse. What does that even mean? It's when the moon gets in front of the sun, idiot. Is that supposed to sound scary or something? I don't know. They used to be Karja. Karja are always yammering about sun and shade. Well, if they used to be Karja, how tough can they be? Yeah, they're best guys, just like birds. We'll rip their little feathers off. Right, let's not get cocky, boys. Aloy. <laughs> so here we are again, gearing up for a fight. Only this time it sounds like the bad guys have a lot more firepower. What are we up against, really? I'm not sure. But there's gonna be a lot of them, and they'll have machines. And if they get past us, it's not just Meridian that will fall. The rest of the world will go with it. Well, that's... big. It sounds like our kind of fight. Right, guys? Well, where do they put the vanguard? At, At the, the front of the line! line. And why? Steel before iron! And what are we gonna do? Hit him like a hammer till he can't hit, hit back. back! Damn right! You hear that? Nobody's getting past the vanguard. We're here for Meridian. And we're here for you. Thank you, Erend. Ursa would be proud. Well, only if we win. Owen's apartment. Feels empty. Should I sleep? Did I leave anything unfinished? a bit with a weight like this pressing on you. How did you rust after you lost your family? Silence? Are you there? I guess I shouldn't ask ghosts for advice.
Ma'am, there are signs from the west. Sun King Avad awaits you at the Temple of the Sun. Fires, perhaps? Massing forces for the long march to the city gates? That's not with smoke. And what is it? The end. Or how it begins, anyway. you spoke of to the guns to the guns now by the sun do as she says <laughs> set loaded all of you be ready to fire will the guns hold them back Enforcements. Aloy, no! We need those guns! He will cut you down! Not this time! The shadow will reach you where you have fixed me. You should have fought me in the sun ring then. Got eyes on him! The end is inevitable. Accept it.
full already. Good meat.
Aloy. 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 Tab. By all mother, you survived. I thought you were killed. The others, are they? No, no. Wounded, but alive, mostly. The machines blasted through, then kept going. They marched on the spire, dragging that thing with them. Take care of the others, Tab. I've got to go.
Defense has started the signal. It must have gotten through the defenses. Nora. Aaron's vanguard. I have to get up there. It's Aloy! Well, you, you can see that. We thought you'd fallen at the ridge. No, the ridge fell on me. Look, there isn't a lot of time left. I have to face Hades. Not alone. My fight. I can't ask you to come with me. We were about to go over the top anyway, right? Right. The metal devil must fall. I should stock up. Last chance.
title is ours. System threat imminent. I'm more than a threat. Master Override armed. To activate state name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Purging Extinction Protocol. Okay, Gaia. Uh, sorry about that. Where was I? You were telling a story. Right. Yeah, so, um, like I was saying, it was a children's electronics kit, but I hacked the wiring to an auto battery and solar PV. So the grass caught fire. And, uh, so did a, a tall pine that had stood there, uh, I don't know, maybe a hundred years. Query. You were how old? Six. My mother was home, thank God, so she called the fire department, and after, she took me out to the lawn and showed me the dead baby birds, because there were nests in the pine tree. Query, what did you feel? I'm not sure. I remember yelling that I didn't care, and that's when my mother took my face in her hands and spoke. Query. What did she say? She said I had to care. She said, Elizabeth, being smart will count for nothing if you don't make the world better. You have to use your smarts to count for something. To serve life, not death. You often tell stories of your mother, but you are childless. I never had time. I guess it was for the best.
If you had had a child, Elizabeth, what would you have wished for him or her? I guess I would have wanted her to be curious. And willful, unstoppable, even. But with enough compassion to heal the world just a little bit. Anyway, that's all I've got for now, Gaia. Time to tuck in. I wish you a pleasant sleep, Elizabeth. Thank you. I'll catch you tomorrow. friend remember me we've still so much to discuss so much you never revealed your masters for example the ones who sent the signal that woke you knowledge has its rewards don't you think well let's begin 